All right. It's the time to end this. We're going go to treasure hunting. Treasure hunting in the final location. With the location which I'm not going to tell you what uh, what this section is called just yet cuz that's cuz this name of the section is also the name of a level later on, so I uh, I have bad news. I've seen the level list. Oh, dang it. Uh, well, just don't spoil it for. Well, oh, damn it! Okay, you ruined my entire my entire plan. Sorry. That yeah. does it really matter? We've had like exploding flesh mummies in this game. Am I gonna be surprised by anywhere we might go? Okay. All right. So this is this is a, we're in Atlantis. Okay, th there will be a surprise. W what do you picture Atlantis to look like? <laughs> Blue. Blue. Yeah, like, you know, blue, it's all regal. It's probably Jason the Argonauts-ish. There will probably probably be water areas. Yeah. All right, we'll keep that in mind as we go on. And we'll see how right you are. Uh, right. No screen share yet. Oh, shit, sorry. I, I, got, I got ahead of myself. That's fine. Uh, was the game in 4.3 last time? No, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, the game the game's widescreen. Apparently, I, DOSBox has... Better native widescreen support than fucking, like, Tomb Raider 2 or 3. I've been, like, uh, troubleshooting that in preparation for those streams when we get to them. And, my God, Tomb Raider 2 is just, just has, like, out-of-the-box issues. Yeah, you mentioned that. 2 is just refusing to cooperate, but 3 works great. 3 works fine. I I, I think it works fine. Yeah, it should, you should be seeing, seeing it now. Did you, uh, you set the audio up to 5? Oh, yeah, good, good call. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, you mentioned yeah, that. I, I noticed the game audio was a little low on the last couple streams. All right, it's at five now. Also, we actually don't have to fly treasure. Our treasure got fucking stolen. Our treasure and our guns. Welcome to the We're first. Welcome to the no, no gear Lara. level. Welcome to the no gear level. Except they left, they ha happened to leave all our ammo and also all our, like, medipacks, so... Procure we got that on arrival. Procure on site. Procure on site. Okay. Uh, so, I'm gonna level with you. This is probably gonna take a while since this is, I'm least uh, familiar with these last three levels. How many times did you replay this game as a kid, and how often did you get to Atlantis? Um, I got to Atlantis pretty consistently, but uh, I've, it, it's, it'll be very difficult, as you'll be aware. <laughs> yeah. No, Atlantis, Atlantis is like, make sure you remember everything you've learned. Um, the gauntlet. Yeah, if, I think if we go too far, if we go past here, we go, we're, we're too far, so good thing I saved. Give me just a second. I'm gonna grab my headphones and double check the stream audio. Okay. That doesn't exist until a later a later game. Cause you, I thought this is for this for people who are watching. I thought that like if you jump and you roll in the air. All right, I'm back. So I thought I I thought I I, I think this is a later game, but there's a later technique you can learn where if you jump forward, you can roll in midair and just kind of land facing the direction you jumped from. It's a, it's a neat combat trick to have later in, in like later games. It definitely exists in three, but it doesn't exist here. It's a shame. It's a, it's a, it's neat. Uh. Okay, so there's a boat here. I think we go forward from here. How's the audio? Yo, are you? Can you hear me? That's like your stowaway boat that you were lying down in. Yeah, that's not. No, that's not the stowaway boat. The stowaway boat was a fucking yacht. Can you hear me? Uh, I. Sorry, I'm like I'm like ten or twenty seconds behind when I'm checking audio levels. Oh, it it seems it seems good. 
Okay. I was jumping a lot because I was all tapping. That's a that's a thing that happens. Um, I was saying that uh, that. What was I saying? Shit, I forgot. Something about the yacht or something after that. Yeah, they had a. I remember the yacht, and I remember she had laid down in like a storage compartment. I, I don't know where she got this particular boat, assuming that she brought I guess this here. She didn't bring it here. We swam to the island. Ah. I don't know. I There are certain plot details that I am like privy to that I don't know if. Uh... Okay, so. So why did Natla invite us to this place if she if like we didn't get invited we stowed away she tried to kill us after we found no, no, no. i mean at the beginning of the game why would she like hey laura come get this treasure if her group was just going to get the treasure anyway well we're because i guess i guess we're the best there is they use us to like get the thing and then i guess the plans will make it so that we're, we'll be like like not uh not useful We'll make her do the hard work, and then we'll rob her on the way out. Is that yeah. the idea? Yeah, like like any normal uh, like villain. I'm just double checking because I I don't like the beginning of this level. I like other stuff that happens in this level, except for the beginning, because to be quite frank, I I always forget like where to go. What's at yeah. the top of that waterfall? There's like a red out of bounds object. Let's check. Red out of bounds object. I saw something weird up there. I was like a, like a no entry gate. Seems uh, seems promising. Wait, hold on. What's over there? I wonder if, I wonder if uh, she says has done a boundary break Tomb Raider. Uh, be interesting. I don't think I can. I can. How do I get over there? I'll oh, go I'll up probably... to the ledge and then put on the Zora mask. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine, like, somebody doing, like, Tomb Raider recreations of, like, Ocarina of Time levels? Other games just in the tile-based style of Tomb Raider? Yeah. Tomb Raider, oh. Ocarina of Time. All right, I guess so I people are asking for, uh, when they eventually finish the Majora's Mask PC port, they want, like, some kind of cross-compatibility with Ocarina. Like, being able to run around Hyrule with the, the transformation masks. Oh, I still don't think that's going to be right, possible, but it would be cool. Sorry, I'm taking it. Oh, wait! Okay, behind the waterfall. Probably just a secret, though. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, and this will probably open up... Yep, okay, that opens... Alright, so that opens up that switch down there. And then... Dude, I, how was that going to work, though? You're going to have to basically recode Ocarina of Time in Majora's Mask's, like, updated engine. Yeah, because they're PC ports, but they're still, like, functionally coded the way the original games are coded, so... It, it's not as easy as it immediately sounds. No, not at all. Like, the, like that's the thing with coding. People think, like, oh, uh, you can just, like, uh, you can just add code to this. You can just port it in this engine. It should be easy as cake. No! Like, uh, you, you know what, like, most of what ha what was wrong with Dai Katana, right? Why why that took, like, forever to, uh, to release? I wasn't aware it took forever to release, okay. but what's its story? Okay, so Dai Katana, the FPS that, uh, John Romero was, like, making okay. after he, uh, he broke from, uh, id software. And, yeah. uh, and so he, he was, like, making this, like, very epic, like, uh, like, game that was, like, oh, it's gonna span all this, like, all the like fantasy it's gonna span everything and they were making it in uh his thing was like designed as law because he was like well they're focusing too much on the technology and we want to focus just on design which is you know that's something you would uh you would later see in like indie games so so the so it's in a way it was kind of like progressive like or like ahead of its time just being like look it doesn't matter how beautiful the game looks if the design's not there yeah but Ironically enough, uh, id uh, they made their uh, id Tech Two engine, which was the, uh, the engine they used for Quake Two, and and he broke his own like philosophy. He's like, "All right, stop everything. We're gonna port everything into this new engine." And you know what? It was a fucking nightmare. Yeah. So, yeah, that that is a lesson that I that I remember, of just like, oh, wow, this is. We go, we go up to down there to go up. 
fucking that's that's so convoluted. Didn't Duke Nukem Forever get like started over in three different engines or yes. something? Yeah, because people keep and also I guess the project was mismanaged in other ways. But yeah, people keep forgetting that fucking uh like lesson that that porting something to a new engine is much harder than just oh the assets are just gonna be directly compatible. It's it's always gonna be different. Okay, so that's up there. Hmm. You were right, you did see something up here. That's a good eye. Uh, it was bright red, so it kind of stood out. Yeah, if I jump down there, that's probably going to hurt me. I'm guessing we're going to need that. You can that, make though. that jump. Can I make that jump uh, without injuring myself, though? I mean, with a running jump to that the, the ledge. All right, I can hang on that. And by the way, I checked, and uh, yeah, in later games, you can just hold walk and then move to the side in order to... Uh... Yeah, I don't think we were talking about the same place, but... Uh, oh. Is this no, where I was you're talking... going? Uh, is this a sequence break? I don't know. You can make the jump, so probably not. Okay. I thought you were aiming for the top of the waterfall. I was aiming for here. I guess the, I guess we weren't talking about the same thing. Uh, it's good to know that I can uh, make it there at full health. I'm gonna just go over here. Yeah, that's where I was. I thought. Yeah. We were going. No, I I knew I could make that jump, and then does it wrap around over here? Yeah, it seems like it does. All right. I'm just going to do it this way so I can see it. Wait, no? Okay, where am I going? Got one of them ambient tracks. Yeah, this, this is a good ambient track. I think this is the same track as Cistern. What is this? What does this remind me of? This reminds me of the... It reminds me of, like, the, the, the dungeon area in Maple Story. Sleepy Wood. Oh. Uh... Okay, you know what? Guess I am going here. It's weird. I'm gonna, I remind me to post the track for you later. You're gonna listen to the start of it and be like, that's fucking Tomb Raider. <laughs> I will look forward to that. I really hope I'm going the right way in that. Okay. Okay, good. I really, I really don't want to encounter any of the uh, enemies here while I don't have my guns. There's a, there's a way you can do that, and if you do that, that's going to make things a lot harder. And I'd rather have my weapons. There's a way you can do that. So is there like an alarm system or something that calls them? Uh, no, you just you just do things out of order. Mm. Okay. I need three fuses. Now, so we need three fuses to drop that. Uh, okay, so we came from up there. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just uh, looking around here for a second. Looks like there's a way to that that boat's gonna move, and then I get on to, uh, yeah. Here? Oh, something is up there. I think something's up there. I'm overthinking it. Is that no nothing? Okay. Okay. So these. So what do you think they were mining? Were they mining specifically to find ancient ruins, or, or were they like looking for something in particular? I mean, that's kind of weighted by the fact that I know what this this area is. <laughs> well, these are these are Natla's mines. I guess she she's like I know where everything is, but why does she know where everything is? Hello, Darian. Hey, Darian. Tomb Raider again. Darian did a uh, Lament of Innocence stream recently. I saw he, uh, you were, uh, is that my guns? Oh no, that's a fuse. I saw he was, like, doing Retro Arc as well. Or the yeah. achievements. I wonder if that's gonna he be a thing. He mentioned games. watching a stream where, uh, someone spent, like, an hour on the tutorial of Lament of Innocence. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, was that me? 
<laughs> it wasn't. He was talking about someone else, but I, I, I remember you getting very upset with my performance in that game. Oh yeah, I, I get, I get perform, I get upset with your performance just because I'm, I'm like impatient. You're very, yeah. I don't know if you're being very patient with me with this game. If like something you're just like, what the fuck is he doing? I barely understand what's happening. Yeah, I remember we tried to play Terraria one time and you were like so confused, but I'm like, dude, this is basically Minecraft. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to move that box. All right, just double checking to make sure that that's okay. So that's where I came from. He rage quit on the tutorial. That's it. What was the dude? It was the God of War director. I don't, oh, yeah? I don't remember if it's the original one or the director of the new ones got like really upset with Super Metroid and rage quit at like the tutorial. The tutorial, like the space station? Or something. It's like the first spot in the game where you have to uh, bomb or destroy a wall that is not like marked or anything. Super Metroid. He, um... he got mad and called that bad game design and quit. Okay. Has he, did he, did he find out about it or was he just like stuck and like, oh, I don't know what to do? I, I think he found out about it and that's what made him mad. Yeah. Rubbish. This game's no good. Okay. Well, I sure hope that uh, whatever I need is down here and I won't get ambushed by like guys with guns. Guys with guns. Guys Taking with over. They won't be long. Esmer rise. <laughs> yeah, what's this over? Oh, that that triggers that boat. Oh, you see that? Sh okay, wait. Yeah, okay. So the boat's so the boat is in play. All right, we can head back now. I'm guessing that. This is kind of designed like a nightmare. Well, I say designed. Really hope I'm able to find my gun soon. What are some other video games that uh, just take away your stuff for a level? There's um, Forsaken Fortress and Wind Waker. Uh, there's... Naked Snake, uh, that, uh, Naked Raiden section yeah. from, uh... <laughs> Literally from... Naked Raiden. Oh, Not yeah. Not to be confused with Naked Snake. Yeah, from, uh, whatever. Right here. Metal Gear 2? Yeah. Metal Gear 2, yeah. Sons of the Patriots. Uh, Darian, you m mentioned interest in the Metal Gear collection. Are you gonna, you think you'll be streaming any of those? I would if we weren't so pressed for stream time, because they're funny games, but they're also very long, and there's a lot of them. Yeah. They're fun, but at the same time, yeah, they, we... We gotta be very picky with what we, like, stream. Natala! Oh, shit. I really have no idea if I'm going the right way. If only there was a sign... Or, uh, oh. oh, just more mag ammo. That's good when I eventually regain them. What, what is this little Natla bunker? Okay, one of them moves. Yeah. Because it looks different from the others. It looks shittier. <laughs> you can never remember where the pistols are, is the problem. Speaking of shitty, I mentioned this to you off stream. I started getting the achievements for Ultimate Battle 22. Yeah. Lord knows why. I I, I joke that like one of the achievements should be uh, should be playing Ultimate Battle 22. You just quit the game and then you get an achievement. Okay. You quit the game, achievement pops up. It's for the best. <laughs> Thankfully, it's an easy set. I, I wouldn't have started it if it was like if it had like bullshit on it. The yeah, the yeah, worst switch. set that I found so far is a uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One. There's uh, achievements for getting all of the tapes in in each level in one go, oh, yeah? which is fine for the first few, but the last one is like 
pro pro speedrunner shit. Oh wow, it's borderline impossible, and everyone in the comments agrees. Oh, I did it, so you should be able to too. I would check how many people have like like zero point two percent have the achievement, but uh, the site has been down for several days. Uh, I picked the worst possible time to do that crash thing because uh, in the middle of my stream, the site went down for maintenance and has now been down for several days. That sucks. I hope they're able to get it back up soon. Hopefully it's not like a lawsuit thing. No. Okay. No, they're just moving over to a new server. Right. It was for the best because I had been having trouble like getting access to the site for a while. It craps out a lot. Damn it. Wrong way. Oh, wait, no, not wrong way. Okay. I'm just waiting. I'm amazed that she can pull those, because it barely looks like she can push them. They're, they're, those are, like, stone blocks, like... It's really easy to, like, not oh. realize how heavy that much stone is. I think, I think I'm going to be ambushed here. Did you, is this out of order? I don't know if it's out of order. I just know that there's a that it's it could be very easy to like miss your guns if you're like not actively looking for them. Ain't nothing personal. Yeah, fucking knew it. God damn it. Okay. Is it to the left? Was that a new character, or was that a dude we've met before? I think it's the was cowboy that... from, uh... There were Lawson? Three of them. No, Larson's that dead. Name? Larson's dead. We killed him in Egypt. Was there another cowboy? Yeah, he was, it was uh, the cowboy hat, the guy with the Uzis, and then a bit, and then a big, scary black dude. Because, yeah. you know, that wasn't racist in the Ain't 90s. Nothing personal. Yeah, I'm just gonna go down here. Perhaps that was a bad idea. So, um, I mentioned before, right, that, uh, that, like, uh, the, I, I was, I had a fear of lava when I was growing yeah. up as a kid, and Volcano was, like, was, like, a big, uh, like, uh, trigger for that, like, like, traumatized me. Yeah. This is, this is the other, this is the other thing that traumatized me for lava. There's a reason why that I, uh, as a kid, I really didn't like doing Atlantis. Ain't nothing personal. Oh, you're falling in the lava. Is there going to be an area that's like got Ain't big wide personal. open lava? Or is it just these little holes? Uh Is there a lava level? Um, this is technically the lava level. Oh, bye, bye, cowboy. Tarnation, where'd she go? I think she's got my mag I think he's got my mags. More lava. It's a loud fire effect. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna go back until I. I'm gonna go back because I missed my gun somewhere. Those blasted things. Uh. I might, I might need. I might need you to uh to give me a refresher because I'm just coming up blank. I'll get the guide. Thank you. You're the best. Stella's Tomb Raider site. That's the one you've been using before, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so right at the start of the level, you found some Uzi clips? Yeah. Right? I, wait. In the PS in the PS1 game, you just get the Uzis there if you don't have them. Oh. But I don't Wait, where? Hold on. I did find Uzi clips. I oh. No, oh, and it, not that it matters. You don't have the Uzi, right? No, I don't. I don't have the Uzi. I got Uzi clips and then Magnum clips and then shotgun shells. So no, I did. I never got the Uzis. Uh oh, this is level fourteen. I need level level thirteen. Never mind. So yeah, we're on that was mines. I 
Actually, wait, hold on. Might have a theory. Let's uh, let's test it. Nope, can't get up there. Damn it. Find anything? A room with a small building suspended from the ceiling. We've been there. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we're going back there. Day with boarded up buildings and tires. We've been there. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is not the... Fuck this. So that room is all is all the way back up past the waterfall. God damn it! All right. Have you encountered boulder traps? No, I haven't. Okay, can you get to the room with the tires? Yeah, I'm on it. So it's over there, then. The brown wooden crate is movable. Yep. I moved it to get up to the breakable uh, part of the... Uh... Rump to the roof of the building. Drop through. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, I know did you that. did that. Yep, I did that. Move the boat. Continue to the end of the passage and drop down onto the crate you just moved. Okay. Wait, onto the crate I just moved. All right, so so I'd be back here. Well, not back there, but... Now follow the tracks on the floor to the wooden door opposite the entrance. Okay. Oh, wait, the door opens? It opens automatic. Oh, god damn it. Please. Fuck this level. All right. It's like Rayman. No, you gotta go there physically, and then the, the hidden flag will activate. Yeah, that... I didn't even consider that. I gotta stop underestimating this game. Okay, uh, this way? Oh, there was nothing down there. I think Rayman had the cheat for uh, beating the whole game without getting a game over. Fuck that. Seems a bit, uh, extreme. So these are boulder traps, but the boulder traps don't seem to really be doing anything. Just in case. Is something fu fucked up. All right, we're in a new area, so I'm just gonna take it easy now. Uh, up here. It is a very wide stance. You notice that? Yeah, it's a power. People stance. don't just yeah. People don't just stand with their legs out like that. You know, it's, it's so that if it's so that you don't get easily knocked over, probably. Uh... Okay, what does that lead to? Okay. Wait, that just- that just leads back here! The fuck was the point of that? You serious? <gasps> oh, I remember now, the whole thing resets. God damn it. I gotta outrun the boulder. I remember why this level sucks so hard. Okay. Because of the boulder room? There, that's oh, you why... saved after the boulders activate, didn't you? Yeah, I did. But... I can just leave and come back and the boulders will reset. Because that's how... That's why the, the door opens up automatically. It's a, uh... It's a trick to, uh, reset... It's, it's a trigger to reset the boulder room. Oh, I can't. God damn it. Alright, I gotta go through and go up top and... Yeah, I remember this now. This is- that's why... Yeah, this, uh... Okay. Okay, this, this... They're really gonna try to make me work for my guns. See, this is why the fine this is why I say the final three levels of this game are, like, are, like, really difficult. Okay. 
All right. Do this. First try. Just repeat that sound effect like a machine gun. Okay, so. So one of the fuses is in here, one is on the conveyor belt section, and one is in the middle of the room where the cowboy is. So how do I get the one on the conveyor belt? Here it's all up here! Fucker. Wait, this is where my guns are? That wasn't where my guns are? I just got a fuse! Okay, wait. I think my guns are in the building with the fuse. I remember now. So... Let me through! Let me through! Okay, can't do that. You still there? Yeah. Okay. So, what I need to do then is. I gotta figure out what to do in the fucking conve conveyor belt room. Okay. And fortunately, it's over here. Uh, leads to a conveyor belt. You can't get at it yet, though. Fuck! Then what am I supposed to do? Whatever, I'll just, uh, I'll just put, I'll just, I'll grab that other fuse, and then I'll, uh, and, uh, well, I'll put this fuse back in the main room, and then I'll figure it out, I guess. What you want to do is near the cowboy. Oh. Uh, dead or alive? Alright. That is not OSHA. You think you think a person who's uh, stealing an ancient artifact and uh, and like tried to kill us multiple times cares about OSHA? I mean, maybe she does. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to the cowboy room. Hey, uh, Valmont. You know, we and me and the guys has been talking, and we we decided to unionize. You know, we don't think you treat us right, Valmont. <laughs> well, I would like you to unionize, but but this uh, presence in my head, he doesn't want you to unionize. What the dragon? What was the, the dragon? Shindu. Name? I always forget. It's Shindu. Shindu. Okay, because his loser son was Drago. Drago, yes. Yeah. Loser son. Yeah. He was though. You want to you want to tell everybody why he's such a loser? Like, why we okay, consider it to be, like, a loser? Let's talk a little bit. While we're on the... Because this is an archaeology game, right? Yeah. We're being an archaeologist. This is what actual archaeologists do. <laughs> uh, Jackie Chan Adventures was the Jackie Chan cartoon where Jackie Chan was an archaeologist. And it had, like, a bunch of seasoned villains. It, the first one was Valmont, the, the mafioso dude, crime yep. boss. Yeah, pretty And the pretty uh, successful ancient dude. dragon demon who he was serving. Yes. That was like a Sailor Moon situation, wasn't it? Yeah. Valmont was pretty chill. He, he said he his uh, villains failed him in like uh, in like achieving something. And all he said was, you will be punished. And then he just hung up on them. Like, well, not right now. I'm not going to yell at you now. And it's, it was bizarre because he was like a classy rich dude, but was able to out Kung Fu Jackie Chan. <laughs> I mean, you're rich, you take, like, the best lessons and stuff, you have the best exercise equipment, it's not out of, like, uh, not out of the realm of possibility. I think uh, season two... No, I'm gonna go back. Season two was still, like, Shen Du. And then season yeah. three was fucking Dao Lan Wong. Fucking bet, like, really crazy sorcerer. Just, like, just, like, a really, really crazy cool old dude. He was a chi wizard. Yes. And he looked like a fucking wizard. Well, like a, a Chinese wizard. 
Yeah. He had like a, a, a dark robe. He, he searched shit in cauldrons and waved his hands to make dark magic happen. Yeah, and All he's in like contemporary San Francisco. And you know what? He's so good. He was able to do like magic in the middle of like a cafeteria, like a prison cafeteria. He got like, ar kitchen. arrested, put in prison in like a, an orange jumpsuit, and he was doing mystic shit in the chili <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> this great guy. Dao Lan Wong is so fucking like. Not anachronistic, but cross genre. It's great. So then, uh, and season then, yeah, four season... was the Japanese season with oh, the it's... Oni Terracudo. Yeah, Terracudo who was like kind of forgettable. He was like the chillest dude. Oh yeah, he, I, he just wanted. His... I guess he was kind of the opposite of Dao Lan Wang because he was obviously this mystical being, but he just talked like some guy. Yeah, it was it was funny. And then and he was really weirdly tolerant of like his his mook's mistakes and everything. He was like a a cool management. Yeah, but the, guy. and that's the thing that that is like uh, the same with all like four of these. These guys all had people that were like loyal to him and like really like uh in like had They had, had loyal followers. They were powerful and they got shit done. Like they is a very memorable villain cast in Jackie Chan Adventures. Okay, so before and we then go on, we get to the final season. Before we go on, where where are where do I need to go? Just to the left? Uh to the right where Don't go don't activate the cowboy. Turn around and go back to the Notla box. Okay, so I so I do need to put the, the I'm the... onto the box and pull up in the tunnel above. Okay. All right, that that'll that'll do it. Thank you. That 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 makes a lot of sense now. That that's on track to where I remember. All right, so so then we get to the final season of Jackie Chan Adventures, and our villain is the son of the of the dragon demon dude from the first season. Yep, he's like half demon, half human, I guess, right? Something like that. And this guy, man, talk about a downgrade. He. You when, think? when did do we meet him when he's him living in, in the junkyard? He that's his his headquarters is a fucking junkyard. He lives in a junkyard. <laughs> he doesn't have any like resources or anything to speak of. He tries to recruit the the mooks from previous seasons, and they're and just like, "No, we're too good for you. We know better than this." Nah, it's, you 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 seem like low rent for us, you know. I don't want to live in a fucking junkyard. You kidding me? Does his father not even like him? I don't remember. I think his father was in like some like he was in the demon realm or some shit. Yeah, he's just like I I'm don't not... remember if Shendu was active at that point. I'm not helping you. No, this dude is fucking on his own. He's he's trying to to, to hunt, compete with Jackie Chan for artifacts or whatever, and he's just kind of a stronger human who can breathe fire, and that's fucking it. You, you okay? So you know how everybody else they have like ways to get to places, like uh, like they can use magic to teleport, or they can use like get fancy rides or some shit. Or they're rich, like Valmont. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, Drago doesn't have any of that. No, he has to disguise himself in like a in like a robe and board a yacht and like a like a cruise, a ferry. Was it a cruise or it was, I think a it was ferry. like a garbage boat? It was fairy, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, he just it... fucking put on a, a, a dirty old cloak and stowed away because that's the only way he can get, get to these places. You know what? And I was joking. You know what would be worse than like stowing away if he actually just shelled out money for a ticket, yeah. <laughs> like a normal person. <laughs> like, it's like the Yu Yu Hakusho dudes just taking a fucking bus to get to the Tagoro Arc. Well, when they did it, it was cool. When this guy does it, it's lame. It's like, <laughs> did he have any major victories? I mean, did it seem like he was even coming close? I don't. I honestly don't remember. I, I remember very little of that final season. It, they, they they didn't really treat him like a joke, though. They treated like he was a serious fucking threat while he was stowing away on shitty ferries and hiding out in the junkyard all the time. I, I know it's adorable. Okay. Uh, I think maybe I can do this. It's gonna let me? No. Okay. They said I can get up there, right? Uh. I can climb up there. Well, I, you got all three fuses, right? I got two of them. The, you said that I can't get to the uh, one on the conveyor belt yet. Pick a, okay. Go back to the Notla box. Climb onto the box. Pull up into the tunnel. 
Okay. And throw the switch to open the door near the conveyor belt. All right. So I need to climb up onto this box somehow. The Natla box. Is this the Natla box? I hear so. Hmm. Interesting how... Those directions are from where fuse number two was in the cowboy room. Yeah. It says turn around and climb onto the Natla box. Is it okay, the so one this... sitting in the middle of that of that room? Oh, okay. I get it now. I I I gotta go all the way back to the fucking the other the tunnel. God damn it! I heard not La box, and I'm like, oh, that's that's got like a proper noun and everything. That's probably uh. Surely it couldn't be the box that has not La in big bold text on the side. That's a skill issue. I love doing that. I love when I'm able to pull that off. This whole this whole section is just me going back and forth between two areas. This level is designed to be to just aggravate me. It's a good thing we're usually not very harassed in these levels. Yeah, no. This is, Most this of the time, we're just kind of wandering around. If we had, if we were under enemy fire doing these puzzles, we'd be fucked. Yeah, you know that's why I say this is a really chill game. You just feel like this is the kind of game where you can just take your time. All right, here we go. All right. Who's Eclipse? And this. Why does that sound so sinister, game? That's like a sound that plays just before the whole room floods or some shit. Yeah. That's the sound before one of the jungle book traps activates. Alright, I gotta remember... Where that? I think that's back up the waterfall. Find the waterfall. So glad I I don't I don't stream uh, on camera. I'm like, yeah, I got that. I got I got the Zoloft sweats going. Yeah, yeah been better after uh, after taking. Be more doable if one lived in a house with like proper air conditioning. Uh, oh, what? I was climbing up. Fucking game. All right. Or at least a fan. I should probably get a fan. Well, the problem with like a fan or an air conditioner in a small space is that they're loud and they pick up on mic. Yeah. Like, like a house with central cooling, you don't have that problem. But good luck affording that. Yeah. In, the, in any economy? In any American economy? Late-stage capitalism. I-I-R-C. I-I, if I remember correctly? Yeah. Or I-R-L. That's fine. Okay, so, through here... Wait, no. It's like a wily e. Coyote scene waiting to happen. That thing Wait is a minute. gonna fall on someone. You said... Oh, okay, no, I'm going the right place. I, I am, I am going... Okay. I, you pulled the switch to open the door near the conveyor belt. Now I'm going to the conveyor belt room, which I think is this way. This way? Yeah, it is this way. Okay. So Here's I'm... something we haven't talked about on stream yet. Is, uh -huh. uh, we got technical footage for Nick All-Star Brawl 2. You know, and you know what? It just goes to show. You want to make a game that's like, that's like as good as Smash? You make it like Smash. You don't fuck with the formula too much. It's okay to fuck a little bit, but... A lot of these games try so hard to be different that it's to their det detriment. Uh, the footage we got... It looks, yeah, like, actually mechanically interesting. Because yeah. they're also adding, like, Guilty Gear stuff. Yeah, Burst and then, like, Air Dash and stuff. Guilty Gear is a very, like, uh... Like, it's a, I got a game with, like, a lot of jumping mechanics. People really, really like Guilty Gear for its, like, uh, mechanics. So that's high praise, like, uh, coming from people who have just seen it. That being said, it, if, it, if it all comes together in the end, that'll be good. But uh, they... The devs... Well, I mean... I guess the original still has, like, a community. Like, a, a hardcore... It? Yeah, it still has a hardcore dedicated fan base that still play a lot, so... Who knows? I get the I get the impression by the fact that they announced a second one so quickly that uh, 
I, I, I feel like the people who pushed the first one out so quickly realized that they fucked up. Which was not a developer decision. That was like... Yes! Level my guns! Yeah! Oh, my babies, I missed you! Why Why did they leave them here? Because it did to be a dick. Alright. Log logically, like, the cowboy should be carrying them. Well, they just put them up there. In the... In the fucking house. I mean, theoretically, you could beat this level without them. I think that's speedrunner tech. You just gotta run away from all the enemies. Does it automatically give you your guns back in the next level? Yes, it if does. If you do that? Yeah, it does. Um, the uh, level skip cheat just gives you your guns back if you just decide to use it. But, you know, many times as I played as a kid, I just get scared of a level and I just skip it. And I, But uh, I haven't done that. I... I think uh, a big reason I wanted to play this game is to just have like a, a run in my that I know for sure in my memory where I just play through it without using any of the cheats. So I think that's probably a reason why I don't remember like a lot of how these levels end is because I get through halfway and I just give up and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna step forward, step back, take a or step back, step forward, spin around three times. And jump forward in through the through the timeline into the next level. Like How much do you funny. remember uh, playing two or three? Uh, three, a lot more than two. I barely played two, so that'll be that'll be fun to just go through. That's that'll be practically a practically blind uh, stream. Is there any reason you didn't play too much? Uh, I just I just I think I borrowed it and I didn't own it. I owned just one and I own three though. Okay. Actually, I, I kind of also want to play through Unfinished Business as well, that expansion pack, because I've never played that either. That'll be fun. I, I think that was me with Mario. Oh, yeah? With which Mario? I think I own Mario 1 and 3, but not 2. I've owned I've owned 2, and I've... Ain't nothing personal. Me, me neither, bro. Here we go. Another thrilling action sequence. Uh, Listen to the action music. My blood is pumping already. This guy is inaccurate as fuck. They don't even fucking bother to replace the ambience. <laughs> wow, this guy's tough. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! no! <laughs> he beat me! I have All been right, I got it! <laughs> I've been defeated! Let's try that again. I'm gonna find another place to, to uh, do that shit. Ain't nothing personal. If you just stand in place and keep fighting, firing, I assume that he'll out damage you. Probably. Oh wow! Oh, there's a lot of lava down there. Yeah. Oh no! This guy is Too standing late. in a very precarious place. It's a good thing he takes zero knockback from the many bullets killing him. I think he's got my mags. Both of these characters just don't respond to getting shot at all. Yeah. They knew what they were doing when they designed this room like this. Yeah, maybe. They wanted to prevent you from doing what you're doing now. I'm still gonna fucking do it, like, they're not gonna stop me. What?! You can shoot through rock?! You dick! Oh, wow. Well... <laughs> this is my hardest challenge yet. Wow, this guy... Hmm... Nothing Maybe I just gotta face tank it. Oh no! I accidentally went to task manager. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, where? Oh no! <laughs> what happened? It, it went Is to, it not it went taking to, inputs? It went, it went to full, it went to, like, uh, windowed. I gotta restart the game. <laughs> I was frantically hitting the keyboard and all of this shit happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna take this time to refill my water bottle because I'm I, I'm thirsty. Give me a, give me one second. Oh, okay. I think the only. Metal Gear game not included in the collection is the Metal Gear Solid 1 remake Twin Snakes that was on GameCube. Which I don't think I'd recommend anyway. It has some quality of life improvements over the, the first Metal Gear Solid, but they also like replace a lot of the music with a soundtrack that most people don't like as much. And uh, it's very like action schlock. They they redo a lot of the cutscenes to be very uh very silly. I guess that was kind of a non sequitur sequitur. I was I don't know why, while he was do doing that thing where he just stands in place and unloads, I was I was thinking of like Metal Gear music playing. That doesn't really happen in Metal Gear either, though. It's not really like a... I guess it's a shooter game. It's kind of whatever game you want it to be. It's a stealth game, but you don't really get punished that much for not being stealthy. What are you up to today, Darian? All right, I'm re I am replenished. Okay. What, uh, what were you talking about? I heard you talking. Uh, I, I did that. That You just like standing there unloading on him made me think of Metal Gear for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, because you don't really do that in Metal Gear. Uh, which version do you prefer between Metal Gear Solid 1 or Twin Snakes? Um... Uh, I haven't I haven't played Twin Snakes. I, I'd like to play it. I think I like the cutscenes in Twin Snakes a lot better because it's so more ridiculous. But um, I they also know. replace a lot of the sound the like the soundtrack though is the bigger problem. Yeah. Nothing personal. Remember the uh, screen share? Oh fuck! Is it is it? Did it reset itself? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. I hope the recording's fine. It, no, it is. It's uh, OBS is. Looks as good. long as it didn't get interrupted. Let me see. No, it didn't. All right. Hope it uh, doesn't. Oh, whoops. You gotta get a second monitor. I'm a cowboy. I'm wanted. Dead or alive. Oh, you almost got him in the lava hole. I guess that'd be bad if he fell in because we wouldn't get our I magnums want, back. I want the magnums. Got him! Happy. Okay. Uh, the, the screen's still not sharing, by the way. Is it not really? What the fuck? No, it is sharing. Or is it? Is it locked? No, it says it's sharing. It's not. Here, I'll oh. leave the call and come back. Okay, do it. Hey, okay, I'm sharing now. Let me see. Okay, there. is it sharing now? Yeah. Are you yeah, sure? Good okay, good. Wow, what I miss? I killed him. He's resting. <laughs> Finally, my magnums. 900 rounds. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Alright, uh... I think we get the shotgun last. Means we gotta fight, uh, we gotta fight Uzi, dude. <laughs> oh, man. 
I remember the last few parts of this game just getting so ridiculous. <laughs> just... She's not going to backflip off any missiles, though, is she? Uh... Oh, yeah, Devil May Cry, right? Or did... Did it also happen in uh, in Metal Gear Solid? Did he backflip off into the missile? That was Twin missile? Snakes change, yes. Yes, I love love Twin Snakes. He backflips off of a, a helicopter missile, and he does, like, a totally needless side flip over a doorway to avoid being detected. I love Twin Snakes. Okay, so... Back. There's another thing that happens in Twin Snakes when uh, when uh, Psycho Mantis is telling like the the uh, the main like uh, like snake to like set the the uh, to set the controller down on the on the on like a table or a surface. Uh, snake uh, all, like turns to the camera and nods as he's pointing his gun at Mantis and and then just turns back to to Mantis. That's something else I remember from Twin Snakes. Twin Snakes tries to be consistent with Sons of Liberty, despite being GameCube only, and Metal Gear Solid 2 not being on GameCube. That's fine. I. What do you mean consistent with the? Uh, do they change like dialogue to like reference it or something? Probably. It'd be weird considering it hadn't happened yet. Uh. Now my main. Now my next question is. Okay, it wants me. I think it wants me to go down. They want me to go down. Okay, uh, no. Oh, do I got to do the fight again? No, I don't. Good. Is there a place to safely drop down? That is what I am looking for now. Okay, that looks sloped, but. Maybe. Oh, is that also sloped? That looks just like it funnels down. That one on the yeah. All right, I'm gonna try it. Oh. Okay, I know. I okay. That's tricky. It's tricky, but not that, impossible. That's, sneak, that's sneaky. I mean, for them to put that there. Yeah. I don't, honestly, I don't even know if this is where we're supposed to be going. Um, oh, we found it, so now we have to go there, obviously. Or maybe there's another route that's, like, partially hidden. No, because that... They, these all go to, like, lava spouts, because this is a fucking, like, arena level. You said uh, the the right, expansion yeah. for this is unfinished business. Yeah, uh, if you want to look at how long it is, I don't think it's too long. How long to beat? Okay, good. Uh... Nope. Okay. It's doable though. There's an entry on how long to beat for the Tomb Raider slots machine. Oh, what? 15 minutes. Well, that's, uh, that's good for people who give a fuck. What do you mean Tomb Raider slots? Is this a mobile game? No, I think it's just, like, just, like, slot machines. Like it is a mobile jump. game. Oh, it is? I'm so close. I am... I don't even know if this is how I'm supposed to be doing it. <laughs> But I'm, I'm in now. Power Wash Simulator Tomb Raider Content Pack. Of course. You gotta wash the, uh, gotta wash the tombs, make them look sparkling. Yes! Got it! Um. Can you go around that ledge, though? Oh, that's like no. Degrees. Oh, no. Is this I, not the I, right I, place? I can't, I, I forgot, I can't do it this game. Can you do it in other games? Yeah. But not this one. All that burning is making me thirsty. Hmm. Stay hydrated, especially if you're taking SSRIs. 
Um. Shit. Well, uh, I'm gonna let's see what else is on this cliff face. Um, looks like I can dr I can safely drop down on this side, or at least I can drop down. I don't know if it's. Oh, I found it. Tomb Raider Gold, the Shadow of the Cat. That is that what it's called? All right. It includes the original Tomb Raider plus four new levels. Yeah, that's. Yes, that's unfinished business. Yeah, unfinished business. I think I don't know. All right, so uh, it so, says four hours, so that would be one stream. All right. All right, so we are going. We are now going the right direction. Good. Crash Bandicoot didn't get DLC. <laughs> Tomb Raider, man. Okay. I'm surprised that uh, CTR didn't. Crash Team Racing did get DC DLC? Because I, I think that was the most successful of, like, the recent Crash games, was the CTR remake. Uh, DLC, like, uh, keep in mind that this was before uh, DLCs were officially... Called like uh, content packs. Yeah, expansion. Expansions packs, yeah. Yeah. Expansion. yeah, that was back when they were just expansion packs. And uh, I don't know why. I guess they were like, well, we have the engine rather than can we squeeze out a bit more money or something? Man, I, the history of PC expansions is probably interesting. I'd love to see what. Uh, and then I what feel it was also there. kind of the equivalent of modern, ga modern day game patches. Like, hey, we're not totally proud of this. Maybe we could make improvements. Without committing to a full sequel, maybe. I remember. Roller Coaster Tycoon oh, had nope, it. Had I didn't want to do that. Mansion packs. By the way, this is uh, this is uh, lava that doesn't cause smoke. Convenient. Yeah, it doesn't cause like. See, I should be burning up here, but I'm not. It's only when I touch it. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, the original, had two expansion packs that added quite a bit. Warhammer had a, uh, or not Warhammer, Warcraft uh, two had a. Uh, I had an expansion pack beyond the dark portal. Uh, that one was like the first uh, expansion pack I really like gave a shit about. Elder Scrolls had some over the course of its life, right? Uh, Morrowind had two. Of oh, okay, good. I thought I heard that that uh, lava boiling, and I thought that it was uh, it was a boulder. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 is already on Switch. It is a weird game to be on Switch. Why not? Ooh. You think that harms me? I don't remember if it does. I don't think so. What, like the air above it? Oh, it does harm me a little bit. Okay. No, the... <laughs> the spout. Yeah, the lava spout is like is like slightly harmful. Oh, that was one of the games that was announced that, like... That company was porting a bunch of old games to Switch. That was one of them. Oh yeah. Oh. Along with Gex. Gex into the Gecko. Everyone's craving that Gex. You remember uh, that Gex commercial? Where it was like a Scream parody. Uh no. It was a it was a parody where like where it was that scene that famous scene in Scream where the killer was calling. Hold on. The killer was calling Drew Barrymore. And uh, his character, and is like, is like saying, "Hey, I want to know. I want to know uh, where your boy, I, like, just saying stuff about the house." And is like, "Look out the window." And it was that, except, except uh, when she looked out the window, it was Gex, just like with the phone going, <laughs> you know, because that's that's how you want to sell your game. You make your uh, hero out to look like a creep. That's kind of all Gex ever was, though, is just reference the game. Well, then, then, his, then the commercial made a lot of sense. I should be proud of it. All right, what's over here? <laughs> good, good back noise. Let's... That's one for the soundboard. <laughs> Can't wait to hear that back. Hold on. With the compass in exactly that position, it looks like Laura's wearing a diaper. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, wait. What 
move on now. <laughs> oh, whatever. He's wearing guns. Oh, you. So you got the magnums, right? I did. Ha I do. Ha I did get the magnums. Well, what do you do about this boulder? Just nothing. Uh, I guess that that was a secret that I'm gonna miss out on because I didn't. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I'll have another chance to do it. All right. <laughs> what did that noise I made sound like to you? I, I've, I've already forgotten. I think it was like. Whoa! <laughs> so, it was less a scream and more a moan of terror. <laughs> this looks safe. Yeah. Very. Uh, Alright, attempt two. Ah, the diaper chief. <laughs> Does that sound yeah, weird to you? Secret. The secret noise? Yeah, that, that secret noise sounded very bizarre. I don't remember what it would have sound like, sound like otherwise. Anything up there? Oh, yeah, but I can't reach it. Uh, you, if you put the block there, it'll block the tunnel, so... Well, uh, but how am I supposed to... Is the other side shorter? Can you jump up the other side? It might be sloped. Okay. <gasps> yes! Okay, more uh, Uzi rounds. Good. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I never got around to playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I don't imagine it aged well. Well, you got uh, you got Planet Coaster, which is... I do, and I never got around to that either. Alright, well... I'm up here now. Let's see what's down here on the other side of the boulder. Maybe maybe we'll skip the rest of that jumping puzzle. Yep. Oh! It's another boulder! Oh, it's, it's ammo and... Is that our shotgun? You left our shotgun here? You dingus! She'll never get here. Our shotgun. My shotgun. That's... All right. Save, just in case there's something worse down there. I like how the the boulder was going on like a flat surface, as if it was being propelled by some like illusionary force. Okay, well, how am I supposed to get out? You have to go up to the tunnel again. I hope not. I don't think I'll be able to. Surely she can, like, squeeze through that space. Nope. Alright. I, hopefully I can climb back up. Yep. Cool. Alright. So, so there's two ways to get uh, to the secret, then. Well, no. There's only one way. You're not getting... You can't dodge the boulder. Uh, just for fun, yesterday we played some uh, Pokemon Stadium. Oh, yeah. I, I I like uh I like I, I like how the game works uh with it being you being able to hide uh, some your uh your moves from your opponent. I didn't realize until we played yesterday that the game had a uh it had like a tag team mode. Yeah, against uh, two other people or the CPU with two players controlling uh 3 out of 6 of one team's Pokémon. Which yeah. is interesting. I didn't realize there was like a any kind of Pokemon two v two thing Sorry. before doubles battles. Is uh, it was. I, do you think it's better or worse than the actual doubles battles? I think it has its own charms because it's not like it's. It's not like it was boring. We had to like discuss strat strategy the whole time. Yeah, it's like a, like Family Feud but for Pokemon. Yeah, basically. 
Uh, all right, I think I got this. I started a Pokemon Blue today for the achievements. Uh, apparently, if you beat the rival the first two times mm -hmm. without catching any other Pokemon or buying any Pokeballs, yeah, and then you go back to Professor Oak, he'll be like, hey, stupid, you need to catch Pokemon to fill out the Pokedex. Here's five balls. He gives you five more balls? Only if you meet those specific... No, the, that's the only time he gives you five. If you meet those specific situations, like the game thinks you don't get catching Pokemon. <laughs> oh, look. TNT. Don't know. Don't jump on it. You'll start a three countdown. <laughs> arr, arr. I can't move him. Darn. Oh, I can move this one. <laughs> what if you shoot him? That's a good idea. Tiki's actually really stable. It's nitro it's nitroglycerin you gotta worry about. Like the one scene I remember in Lost was a dude shaking a stick of nitro nitroglycerin and immediately exploding. Yeah, because because nitroglycerin is there's that scene in uh in uh that movie Wild Wild West with Will Smith and uh, the guy who wasn't Will Smith, whose name I yeah. don't remember, who was like he was, like, uh, just on a cart, and the cart had a bunch of nitro, and Wilson was like, What kind of fucking idiot transports nitro this way? Dumbass! Alright, I think I know what I need to do. Do I? Oh, no, yeah, okay, that's that's what I need to do. And, uh, and naturally, it, it just ran into a uh, manor where, like, a mission was taking place, and the manor exploded. Because, you know, the Wild West out there. Uh, bring this out, I guess. Yeah, use this as a play as a way to jump. So this level, aside from the very beginning, is actually very linear. After you get past that uh, that few section. This could really use a speed up. Yeah, this doesn't get any better, I unfortunately. Alright, almost done. <laughs> oh! Okay, not up there, up here. Fair enough. Okay, okay so there's a boulder. Oh, there's totally going to be a fucking boulder. No? Alright. This is like the tunnel in Paper Mario where you run down from the rolling thing. <laughs> what was it? Uh, wasn't there a game recently we played where... Oh no, yeah, it was this game where I just stood off to the side of the boulder as opposed to just running. Amazingly. A yeah. thousand IQ move. How does no one ever think of it? Because, you know, you're panicked, I guess. Hmm. This looks treacherous. Yeah. You know what she needs? She needs a whip. Yeah. Only yeah. we had a way to, like, cross gaps and swing to and fro. Hello, Mr. Boulder. What a... What a dumb boulder. Stupid boulder. Are there more, or is it just the one? Seems like it's just the one. But I'm going to guess there's another one soon. Well, just be on the safe side. I am a safe scummer. Alright, and then we're on the other side over here. Okay. So we did all that just to get over here for a switch. I wonder what the switch does. Is it gonna activate a boulder? What did that do? Okay, I'm guessing it has something to do with that path that was sealed earlier. Or was it was it uh, back in the TNT room? 
Did it set off the TNT? Was that a redstone switch? <laughs> well, I can't get I can't get over there from here, so I guess I'm gonna backtrack. Was there a way to drop down from this side anywhere? Oh fuck no, no way. Nah, it's all too treacherous. That is so intimidating, just hearing that lava gurgle. It's so scary. Okay, is it that side that's like... No, okay, good. That's, uh, that's safe. And... Made it! Good. Yep, the TNT exploded. Wait. The TNT exploded. What the hell? Oh, okay. Did that make a path there? Yeah, I made a path forward. Yeah, you're right. Hey, look. I made a bridge. All right. Save. Oh, is this is this gonna be this this guy? Uh, is it? Oh, uh, oh yeah! You ready? Which guy is this? Is it the Uzdi? Q Goldfinger! <laughs> what? <laughs> Do a kickflip! <laughs> the kind of dude that Drago would hire. <laughs> he, she doesn't trust Bigfoot Tamer and a uh, person who does it only for the sport, Laura Croft, but she trusts fucking skateboarder kid. Hey, we got Uzis. Well, he's number one. This is the, this is the, the, the dude who like lied his way through the interview to get this job. <laughs> It's like one of those things where you think about it and you're just like, how is it that you're like, like how? Like really, how? Who was it? Was it Dylon Wong? Dylon Wong. Wong. who Wong, uh, who didn't hire the Valmont mooks. He hired a bunch of like street punks I thought that bad was, attitudes. I thought, was that it was, him? I thought it was Terracudo, but... Uh... Was it both of them? Someone turned them into, like, Shadow Warriors. Uh... Oh, you're talking about, uh... Ice this, Guy? Yeah, what was ice, his name? Uh, I don't know. You gotta look that up, because I remember his name was, like, so ridiculous. God. The Cowboy... What is this? Natalia's got, has got this world plans, and she's hired, like, this fucking goldfish poop gang that is just, like... <laughs> actual trope name. name. By, actual trope name, by the way. Uh, it's like Team Rocket is it would also be there would also be an example. Strike Master Ice. That's the one. Of the Ice Crew. Strike Master. He's just some pimply face looking loser who talks like he's the hottest shit ever. I thought he was Shock Master Ice. Was he Strike Master Ice the entire yeah, time? Strike Master Ice. I love it. This is just a skate park that he. That, that Natalia built for... He, 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 I wonder if this is in Thug Pro. <laughs> dig, dig, diggity dog. Hold on, did I hit 200? Uh, did I... Oh, no. Next one's gonna be the 200th save. Are you ready? Alright. Uh... Okay. Yeah, they turned into... They turned into, like magical warriors for Drago, but they immediately betrayed him. 
Yeah. Because no one fucking respects Drago. Drago sucks shit. Whoa! <laughs> you almost got me there, game. Okay, here's the full ice crew. It's Strike Master Ice, yeah. MC Cobra, and <laughs> DJ Fist. 200, yay! DJ Fist. <laughs> and they were the ones that betrayed Drago. They were like, we're, you're too lame even for us. Or no, it was the original, like, guys. And then these were the these fucking clowns were the ones that uh, Drago had to make do with. And they immediately betrayed him. <laughs> Man. He could just never get a break. Honestly, he should just Drake. give up and become, like, a hero. I, I think he'd be better at it. Uh, we mentioned, I think we mentioned in the last stream that uh, the miraculous villain, Hawk Moth, Monarch, whatever, is just constantly losing and eating shit lately. Yeah. It, it got so bad that we started comparing him to Drago. Like, that's the standard for a villain who just is, is suck, is just doing badly. Oh, yeah. The, who else was, like, Drago tier? It's really rare. Yeah. Uh, occasion occasionally, JoJo villains are at their best when there's an episode where they're just do just having an awful day and oh, running yeah. from the good guys. Yeah, that that was the best part of Kira in part four. Kira just like why <laughs> his hand just goes through the table while he's like having like a like a good time, and and uh. <laughs> Part 5, the villain was just constantly freaking out, trying to protect his identity. And things just got worse and worse. Yeah. Was... Dio remained confident the entire entirety of Arc 3. Until, like, Maybe the final to a battle. fault. Until the yeah. final battle, and then Akira is just like, What's going on? Why is my hand going through the... Yeah. Uh... Dia Volo didn't really have any setbacks, but then again, he wasn't Let's not like... get too spoilery, because, yeah. they, I don't know, Darian's... Okay, fair Let's enough. Let's go watching JoJo. But fair enough. Uh, yeah, JoJo, JoJo villains do tend to eat shit from time to time. That's when, that's when they're at their funniest. Dar Darby the Gambler. <laughs> just freaking the fuck out. Uh, call! Call! I can't do it! I can't call! He's too confident! <laughs> Tell me the secret to Dio stand. No, I can't. Dragon Ball villains, it doesn't really happen to, except for, like, very, very brief moments. Yeah. I'll just take this and... That was great. Well, that that was the best. That, I wish they kept that for the sub instead of him just going, No, it can't be impossible! He's just, just so confident that he can handle the spirit I'm just going into a madless mantra of going, I'll just take this and, I'll just take this and, and he just wasn't able to do anything with it. That was, that was so much set more satisfying. He's... <laughs> Doom Phantom. Sailor Moon villains in general just kind of don't do well, but that's just par for the uh -huh. course for them. Yeah. That's just the formula. They fail over and over and over again, and then the bad guy is like, You failed me for the last time, Zap. But and I then know you just repeat that like ten times before the end of the season. No, but I know what their who their secret what their secret identities are. What well, no, it does it's too late for that. Sleep yeah. forever. The one time they succeed is always the last time that they're given the chance. Yeah. It's it's so formulaic. Don't fuck with the formula! I feel like I did something wrong, because I'm supposed to be here, but I don't know. We forest temple now. We 3D block puzzles. That was, uh... Oh, is this... Oh, wait. Um... But that'll block me. Shit. I like block puzzles. Do you like block puzzles? No. Wait, do I have to? Oh, god damn it. Do you have but to wait. block yourself in? But no, I, then how am I supposed to? <laughs> so confused. Okay, there's a switch. All right, good. That's 
for the other side. <sighs> Almost out. Almost out. Gotta leave this fu Where- Wait, where is this? More blocks?! <laughs> One Piece arcs are usually just like the villain thinking, oh, it's like, this is a piddly little pirate crew, what can they do? And then just slowly eating more and more shit over the course of the arc. Yeah. Things get worse and worse for them. I mean, sometimes, yeah. It's, uh, remember Inaru's face when uh, when he realizes that his powers weren't working? Okay, I'm gonna yeah. pull this and I gotta go back to that other fucking door. No? Andrew was kind of a one-man show. He didn't really care if his, like, minions were losing. He just he didn't care who He still thought he was untouchable until... Until Luffy. Because he's made of rubber. Remember the first time uh, Inaru, like, uh, like tried to shock him and it didn't work, and then Nami's first thought was, He dodged? Yeah. <laughs> that was great. And then... That is, that is the meme face. The Anaru meme face. <laughs> that was... that. Yeah. I... He really, like, uh, Oda really loves his, uh... Say cheese! Okay! Oh, hello. Cheese! Is this the shotgun? I already had the shotgun, so... Oh. I don't know what this guy thinks he's doing. This is supposed to be, like, the, the strongest weapons in the game. Yeah, I got him. How much ammo did that take up? Eh, not too much. Got something for me? Oh, you got a shotgun! A dual wield shotguns. Oh no, you killed Steve Harvey. <laughs> Kill! Kill! There's just an out of context clip somebody uploaded, eight seconds, where he just goes, Yes! And he points to the board and goes, Kill! And then it flips over to kill, and it cuts as the audience is like cheering, and all the people. And there was one comment that I really liked that's like, I like to imagine that after he says that, the audience starts disemboweling each other. What else was on that board? Fly, pray, beg. No. It's a good out of context clip. Yeah, very good. Uh, we need to find a key to get into uh, this uh, creepy looking thing. All right, this is the final, the final tomb we have to raid. For an hour and a half, and this was only the first of three levels. Yeah, this, this one, this one. I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, I think the next one's going to be the penultimate level is going to be about as difficult. Yeah. But I'm trying to remember uh, where the key is. Around here somewhere. Oh, is it back there? Hmm. I don't know what the speed. How? Let me look this game up on speedruns.net. It's it's about an it's they're in the out they're measured in the hours I think. Is it speedrun or speedruns? Speedrun.net. The singular. Wait, but how? It's not. Oh, it is. All right, better start climbing, I guess. Getting over it, except it's uh, Tomb Raider. It's uh, speedrun.com. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound pleasant. Have, have you heard of the game uh, Only Up? I have. Yeah, that was a game I thought you were going to you were going to stream. Um, I heard that they uh, had to temporarily delist it because they used assets they shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, now I I saw that uh, Kazuya Manuar made a Mario sixty four version. Oh, that sounds fun. You gonna do that? It takes. He uploaded a video of him playing it. It is 30 minutes long, 
and uh, he himself had to use, like, cheats to get to the end. That actually, you know what? That actually sounds like that would be pretty fun. Alright, this will probably uh, open up the last one. Uh, we could try it. I think it would get frustrating very quickly, but uh, I guess we could, like, swap off. Yeah. Like, you tag you in, you tag me in. Latest runs on speedruns.com. Monster Girls and the Mysterious Adventure 2? Oh. Well, don't it's leave me hanging! What's the time? Uh, five minutes? Okay. No, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, one, one hour, 44 minutes. Okay. And it's on Switch. Yeah, something is, you know. It's so bizarre the future we live in now, where Nintendo is like more okay with sex on their consoles than Sony is. Because now change. PlayStation is the one that's like censoring all of the like sexuality, especially from Japanese games. It's a crazy world we live in. Uh, Tomb Raider, 1996. Any percent is 55 minutes, 42 seconds. All right. We are On done. The PC version. We are done with fucking Notla's Mines. Hooray. How, how long did this take? An hour and five. It's probably longer, though, because I reloaded sometimes. Uh, Yeah, we've been going Ooh. for an hour 29. Wait. Oh. Put this guy on. All right, welcome to Atlantis. It's a very confident outfit that Natla was wearing. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you this right now. This ambience more than anything as a kid freaked me the fuck out. Hear that? Yeah. It's the... the heartbeat. Yeah. That's where we get the Uzis uh, if we needed them. PlayStation version is a little longer. One hour, three minutes. Yeah, I figured. Saturn is the longest. One hour, 13. Only has three runs. That's a surprise. So, the flesh creatures have been coming from Flesh World. Is, is yep. this what Atlantis uh, is? Yeah, Atlantis is it, rather... Atlantis looks just like this. It just looks like, like, biomechanical. Like, something out of scorn, basically. Or ammo. I, I was thinking, like, the later levels of Doom. Yeah. It's basically hell on, uh, <clears throat> Earth. I guess this is Earth. This, yeah, again, this level... Freaked me out as a kid, just because of how. This looks like it could be a Majora dungeon. <laughs> you go inside a giant like cyborg fish in Banjo. Oh yeah, uh, that was uh, what's his name? Plank. Link's Cavern, yeah. Tomb Raider 2 has uh, <laughs> faster speedrun times. I bet. That game's linear as hell. Oh, hold on. I'm saving, I'm saving my Uzi for a creature that's going to need it later on. I'm just going to use the Magnums. They're just as effective. More I'm so. gonna guess we're gonna run into more centaurs in this level. We're gonna run into fucking everything. Like... Okay, you're gonna open... These platforms don't look like they should be as solid as they are. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Um... Okay, you gonna... Get down, bro! Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's, uh...
Who else wants some? I'm gonna see if I, I can find like a database of Tony Hawk's Underground Pro user levels. See if we can add the fucking. Uh... I don't think they are. You don't think there's like a they're collected anywhere? Oh, well, I th I don't think uh, somebody added the fucking skate park from uh, from Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider boss level. It's... You gotta admit that that was kind of an inspired choice. Yeah, Pro that's one word for it. Oh, switch. Okay, here it is. All right, what did that do? Okay, that opened that door. Well, I guess I guess that guy is just not gonna hatch. Oh well. Oh, wait, that opens up a switch, which that is it just leads to another switch. <laughs> Man, this game. Okay, here we go. Community uploads. Yeah, and that guy's gonna hatch. Let's go! I'm gonna kill you! Someone recently put spell in Tony Hawk's Pro. Uh, Pro. That's fun. <laughs> Alright, and then. Alright, parks. Oh, by the way, this level's called... Yeah, the level is called Atlantis. Yeah. I... Well, it's just gonna be a gauntlet of just shit. This, this is... Just... Just pure fucking chaos. Well, oh shit, hold on. Get down here, asshole. I'm ready for you. Come on. Okay, so... If you shoot the wall in this place enough, will the whole thing explode? Uh... I don't think that's how you would make this place explode. <laughs> oh, uh, okay then. Game's pulling out all the stops. Gotta be careful. Do you think this place requires geothermal power to run? Maybe. Yeah, because it seems to me that, like, is. They're pretty far far down by now. Gonna make sure I can make it. Uh oh shit. Oh shit. Well, that's it for me. I might need to just use my shotgun. Yeah, I'm gonna ready my shotgun. I don't- the shotgun in this game kind of- like, it takes a while to, like, load. You gotta, like, pull the fucking shotgun out. Does it deal enough damage to be worth it? Oh, yeah. It took out that centaur in, like, three hits. It's just that you can't just, like... Come on. Oh, it ducked. See, that's the problem. I'm a... Well, that went about as I expected. Ah. Uh, hate this guy. Come on, just... Okay, he's gonna... Alright, I'm gonna... I have a plan. So he's gonna do that. I'm going to do this. Go back over here. Run. Roll. Gun's out. And he's back down here. But I can move over into this uh, tunnel. Let's 
See? Wait, what? Where'd you go? Ooh, yeah. All right. Now I took Apparently that Portland is a <clears throat> Sorry. That? Portland is a level in one of the Matt Hoffman games. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. Yeah. Not Pro BMX XXX. No. No, different, different game than that. Wait, I'm not supposed to go over here, but... Can I make it up there? I don't think I can. Oh, that's mean. All right, well, let's see. Let's see if I can get that. Let's try this. Okay. Okay. All that for Uzi clips? Oh, there's two of them. Cool. So, if I'm not supposed to do that, then, then what the fuck? Something I'm missing? Someone got the Spyro skate parks. <gasps> oh yeah? Oh that's cool. Oh, up here? <clears throat> this feels like a Okay, I is that that's out of reach, so. That was a called for game. Wait, down there? No way. Be well, a very precise jump. Hang? Just barely. Why is the lava, like, uneven? Oh, this is a, just a secret. These barred binaural beats. It's like the beta of, uh... of, uh, Lavender Town from, uh... from Pokemon. You ever heard the original soundtrack from, uh, Pokemon Green? Yeah, I have. With that the, was the binaural tone or whatever. Yeah, that just. And then they and then they tried to make it like lighter in the in the remake. And they were uh, somewhat successful. Okay, it's definitely lighter. Okay, but seriously, I killed the guy. The door's supposed to open. Is there an, is there a switch I missed? Up there? Tomb Raider level 14, Atlantis. Yeah. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to double check that area. I'll save first because I don't want to lose all my uh, all my goodies. Sorry. <laughs> be a switch in here yeah i missed it shit I... yep and that opens that okay we're good there's only this is this this level seems very fucking linear i would be i would have been surprised if they decided to try and like really hide it well let's try that again that sucks Guy. Like, I was surprised to see that. I'm like, what the fuck? It's... <laughs> Even as a kid, I'm like, wait, what? I've seen a bunch of maps for, like, uh, Tony Hawk 1 beta courses. I wonder if there's, like, a playable Tony Hawk 1 beta floating around out there. Uh, going back to Duke Nukem Forever, uh, there, yeah. the, the uh, beta for that... For like the uh, the the uh, build they were showing off for like one of the uh, game comms before it like went on hot, it, it disappeared again. Um, it leaked and it seemed to be like if it was finished, it would have been pretty fun for its time. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, they kept chasing the dragon of like the newest and best software. And that's the thing. If you if you anyway. Okay. Uh, it's all water. 
Interesting. Okay, there's spikes on that side. I don't want to do that. This is oddly, uh... This is oddly, like, generous of them to have, like, soft water to fall in. Yeah. This is a ni this is a nice looking room. It's it's like serene, not Atlantean at all. Shit. We've escaped from the hell meatscape. Hell meatscape, fucking cruel. That's the, that. Do you think that's? Oh shit! Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Man, all right, let's try that again. Uh, no, I'm aware. I'm aware of it this time. So. A jump and then another jump. Can I jump just from here? Okay. No, I can't. What was I gonna say? Maybe N Natalia, Natla, she wants to. Uh, she wants to turn everything into Cruelty Squad. Just, just Meat World. Haha! <laughs> Stupid Boulder. It's gonna be a running jump over there. I some how did I make that? Uh okay. <laughs> not gonna open, which means I gotta go up further. Alright. Try that again. Uh, what, any other interesting levels you find? Uh, I'm finding a few of uh, imports yeah. you'd kind of expect. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, Rusty Bucket Bay, Murray Towers. I wonder what the gaps are for some of them. You gotta, they gotta have named some. The Moomin House from the Moomins. Oh, that's what? Kingdom Hearts 2 Market District. Oh, that, that'll, that could be fun. Bikini Bottom, Townsville. The city of Townsville? Yeah. What what game? There was a power city escape. Game? Oh, from uh, <laughs> rolling around, speed of sound. But no Tomb Raider level, sadly. Yeah, not n none of them. Not even from. Oh, by the way, so I'm gonna talk about anniversary a little bit because I guess I I, I don't really plan on like streaming that. Okay. But, what is uh, Tomb Raider anniversary? It was a re uh, it was a remake of uh of uh of the original Tomb Raider. This game. In the style and with the engine of uh oh it's just a secret okay well i don't know what to do then uh, it was a uh, remake of this game in the engine of, of crystal dynamics that they used for tomb raider legend and uh and they changed a bit of the plot details they made larson more likable as opposed to just the meathead he kind of is in uh in canon um, yeah uh and then another thing they did was uh they uh, they made Natla's motivations more uh, like obvious because because you because you what what do you think she's she's up to? I'm gonna say this right now. What do you think? What do you think her her end game is with this with this plan? Uh, unlimited power. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, she's. I, I I'm gonna say this because I don't think they ever say it in game. You know that in that that opening cutscene where it like opened up the uh, the thing to reveal somebody stuck in in stasis. That's her. She's an Atlantean from like from like oh. the past. Okay. And and uh, anniversary makes it way more obvious. And uh, the guy with the Uzis, the skateboarder, he's just a thug. He's just like a he's like just some dude they hired. Some street smart who I guess is loyal to uh, Natalia. Did that do anything? that literally do anything that switch this room is con this room's confusing and it seems so straightforward oh okay lethal lava land who the fuck wants to skate around lethal lava land people who want to live on the edge Zelrog. okay I think I did it out of order I'm gonna restart because I don't think I was supposed to get there like when I was, so. I, this, I think I hit the switches out of order. Okay. Uh, 
Lethal Lava Land. Wait, le wait there's a gate. There's a uh, setting called Leaf Lethal Lava Land. That was the Mario 64 level. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm thinking of that time that uh, that that one camel from Banjo Kazooie was joking about, like, "Hey, I'm gonna head to leap to Leaping Lava Land." And that that was a that was a level. That was Hailfire Peaks in, in the next game. Yeah. Did I make it? Yep, I did. Good. Okay. So I'm here now. I am here. Now. Oh, do you want to talk about that Neil Breen trailer? Uh, I don't remember if I watched it beginning to end. I, lost, I watched most of it. Yeah, w w I There's said... There's a new Neil Breen movie. Neil yeah. Breen being, uh basically the equivalent of tommy wiseau except i think tommy wiseau has kind of become self-aware but neil breen hasn't good because if he if he became self-aware he'd lose he'd lose his uh, his purity of vision he's just a dude who makes really uh i i guess like low budget green screen movies but yeah i'm pretty sure he thinks it's like high art it does, yeah I, I don't think it matters what he thinks. What matters is just he just likes to make movies. He, he M many of which revolve around him being some supreme godlike entity. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Is usually his character in these movies. Yeah, his like, double down. He was like, I am the. I uh, I have achieved uh, total, uh, like like total like uh, financial and cyber power. That is why they killed my my wife and, and I broke my heart forever stuff like that and it's all just like weird symbolism and shit at least in uh oh, damn it all right I'm, how many movies have you seen I've, I've not actually seen I've any seen of them. double down and I've seen I've seen enough of faithful findings to say I confidently say I've seen the entirety of it not necessarily yeah. beginning to end but just like just I've, I've seen it you get the gist of it yeah so Double Down is uh, the one I've seen, and it's like slow and it's it very atmospheric. It uses some stock footage sometimes. Um, like places, it, it, he, guy films in Vegas, which you know I was born in Vegas, so so I got it's got some special like place in my heart in that regard to seeing the strip and stuff. It, the acting is is a very very amateur hour. Yeah. Get out. Get out! The marriage is over! Get out! The thing about The Room was that it had, like, terrible acting and directing, but it was, like, contrasted with how good the, the rest of the production values were. He spent, he spent all the money on, like, video cameras. He, he... Like, everything was weirdly shot well, despite it being such an obviously amateur project. Neil Breen, everything's just kind of green screen. Yeah, but you know what? The guy really wants to like make movies and it seemed and i i haven't heard a bad word about him i'm guessing like like he treats people well and yeah. during his shoots and stuff so you know as long as he's not harming anybody you do you but i will say that the, that the that i've seen footage of uh of like the his his uh the trailer for his uh latest film which is called like what was it cage the the crossing or something let me look at our group chat. The the trailer took place in like an insane asylum, but it was like a very outdated, bleak idea of an insane asylum. Insane asylum. Yeah. The thing is, is that when some people said that, oh man, it looks like a fucking. Uh, what is? What do they say? It, it looks like a fucking like a FMV like game. Not like FMV cutscenes, but like an FMV game, like Fantasia. It really did. Like, like you're walking around using a character who was recorded in front of a green screen. Yeah, like like Harvester or. Uh... It did look like Harvester. Cade, the Tortured Crossing. Yes, I, I would play that. I, 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 a I would... Neil Breen film with the thumbnail in like Times New Roman. Yeah, and I, I thought from that, like from the from the uh, thumbnail and like the title, it was like going to be like a medieval thing. But I guess that's. The insane asylum. I want to say I would I would like hire Neil Breen to do like uh, FMV cutscenes for a for a, for like an adventure game in a heartbeat. 
Yeah. Do you think that's gonna come back? Is someone gonna like kickstart uh, an FMV nostalgia game? Um, there's that one. Uh, they people have made like FMV games in uh in like the past uh, like few years. There was that one that got like a bit of steam. Uh, called what was it what? called? Was it like good by 2020 standards though, or was it trying to emulate the shittiness of 90s FMV games? It looked it looked good. It was shot decently well. So yeah, it was. I'm kind of talking about one that emulates the shittiness of 90s games though. Just like you shoot it in front of a green screen and like. Yeah. Yeah, I would love that too. I Neil Breen should do that. Okay. <laughs> do you think he would go on? Do you think he would feel the need to? Uh, remind everyone that it was his game constantly, like uh, that William Shatner game. Oh, Tech War? William Shatner's Tech War? Tech War. William Shatner's Tech War with William Shatner. I don't know. I, I'd like to think he's humble. He seems he seems pretty, like, humble when he's talking about, like, uh, his movie. Oh, fucking shit! Cool it with the traps! Then again, I don't really know. Where are you? Well, I didn't end up well. Let's try that again. Wait, how far have you? Still not gonna use the shotgun. It's not. It's only really situationally useful. I mean, you don't really have the space to like move around and dodge. No, that's, but the magnums kill. Oh wow! What the fuck? This guy can dodge. This guy's got, he's got some maneuvers. Magnums are pretty reliable. I guess the Uzis are good too. I just, I just. So do you have the Uzis now? I do. I use them like oh, right. a couple. You got them from the skater dude. <laughs> skater. Yeah. He said, "See you later, boy." Yeah, I know. I said, "See you later, boy," to him. He wasn't good enough for Laura. <laughs> Was good enough to beat Laura. I kind of don't like that song. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's just kind of quintessential of the era. Well, the thing is, is that the fucking song was basically like the, like the beginning of the the, the first three are the first three like lot the first few lines of that first verse are just like he's a boy, she's a girl. Like, what else do I have to say? There's nothing more to say. They're they're boy and a girl. Yeah. And, and, and and they kind of like each other. It's not a very deep song. No. No, it's... I th I remember in, like, fifth grade, I think, there was the school talent show, and there were, like, eight performances, and three of them were girls singing Skater Boy. I have a feeling if I hit the wrong switch. Wait, three... <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that sucks. Just having to see... Just <laughs> having to... audience. Just having to clap at the third girl singing Skater Boy. Something- oh my god! Do these enemies, like, appear in later games in, like, higher graphic fidelity at all? Uh... I mean, like, they appear in, in the remaster, two they have to, right? Oh yeah. I don't know if they- I don't know if they explode. Okay, so that's what, what are they called? These are Atlanteans, right? Yeah. Is the name of the enemy. Yeah, they're from. They're Atlanteans from Atlantis. Tomb Raider Anniversary. Yeah, look them up. I forget what they look like. Oh, shit. Man, the Uzis just melt through people like, like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, they look about the same. They look like, uh, they look like the Muscle Titan, but with animal heads. Makes sense. And then there's something called an Abomination that just looks, looks like a walking scrotum. That's a fucking spoiler! God damn it! Sorry, did you not want me to see that enemy? That, that's the final boss, that's like the final boss. Oh, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> You just you just told me that. <laughs> well, in for a penny, in for a pound. All right. 
next section of Atlantis. Let's see, see you later, boy. That's like all those fucking people in, uh, in fucking, uh, like American Idol. They just did a super cut of all those, like, people terribly singing, Don't You Wish Your Girlfriend Was Hot Like Me? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm glad, I'm glad that, like, American Idol is doing so terribly. That show did not age well, and it's like the. Boy. I don't think. I don't know, like. Reality show just kind of broke everything for, like, uh, some time. Oh, did I just fuck myself? Find out. Uh, yeah, I think I did. I gotta. It's like that one other room in, uh. in Natla's Mines. I, like, blocked off the secret now. Yeah. Well, not the secret, but just it blocks off the, uh... So I gotta... So once I open that door, I gotta, uh... Run. I don't know if you can run that fast. Oh, I can't. What do they want me to do? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> One puzzle, please! Alright. The uh, Monty Python argument sketch, it's, except it's about puzzles. Oh, yeah? This is a puzzle. No, it's not. This isn't a puzzle. It's completely linear. It's a, a, a puzzle involves, like, involved thought. There, there's a solution to a puzzle. This is just tedium. Uh, well, no, I isn't. mean, I will say uh, that that this did require some level of thought. That wasn't directed at this puzzle okay. in theory. I was just doing a bit. Yeah, just uh, what? What is the line between puzzle and not puzzle? Also, I'm expecting that there's going to be another. Yep. Come at Hello. me. Come at me, motherfucker. This is my house. Why did you? How did you get in here? Okay, I'm gonna have to maneuver. Uh, uh, maneuver. Has that gotten old yet for you? Do they hurt you when they explode? Uh, depending on if you're close enough, but not as much as you think. Oh, what? Laura! <laughs> Why did you... expected that to be a grab? No, I expected that to... Oh, I gotta do this puzzle again. Whatever. Uh... I say Laura, but it's Lara. Damn it! Oh, uh, I was gonna say, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you think your line is between puzzle and tedium? Like, it requires like some level of thought to like fix it, as opposed to it being imp incredibly obvious. Uh, that that's some aspect, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where do you draw the line at, like, uh, like a puzzle being too complicated? Like, uh, there has to be some reasoning to it, and it has to be some reasoning that the player could you know, figure out with clues. The, for example, in Pokemon Gold and Silver, mm -hmm. the the Team Rocket, like, switches, those kind of just feel random. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Come on. <laughs> you know what else isn't a, isn't a puzzle? Fucking Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, what was his uh, quote-unquote puzzle? Just... Barriers? There's a, a switch in a random trash can, and then there will be an adjacent switch in, a, in another trash can. And you just gotta have guess and check. Yeah, that's not really a puzzle, just guess and check. That's just like... Because that doesn't require any thought, that's just luck. That's like saying that's like saying casino slots are puzzles. You know what else is, it is? It's also, uh, I later found out that it's bugged. Oh yeah? Such, I, I don't remember exactly what the bug is, but uh, when I got them like one, two, just perfectly in a row, that. the bug worked out in my favor. That's nice. When we did our stream. Right? 
All right, your turn now. So those are Atlantean eggs. Yep. Atlantean cloning facility. Which can conveniently spawn like fully grown creatures. <sighs> yep. Uh, the dude in uh, Nick Wickersham's Discord who was like super big on Attack on Titan is kind of like... Uh, He's yeah. having second thoughts about it. Oh yeah, what 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 uh, what's uh changing his mind? Uh, I don't care. I, I don't I, care about spoilers, by the way. I, th so I think he list. just, I think he just kind of grew up and is starting to think about the series more. Oh yeah. He also claims there's like anti-Semitic aspects to it. Oh what? So Hold I don't on. know anything about that. I I would I would expect that from like something like uh, Saga of Tanya the Evil. Anti some okay, I don't know. I'm I'm I but uh, if he says so, I'll have to anyway. That's surprising to me. I did I, I I consider it well okay no not really because that's. It's uh, not that surprising that there might be something like racist or xenophobic coming out of the Japanese property. Yeah. Especially because a lot of the times with these kinds of series, it comics are usually popular because they look good, as opposed to them being like the most stellar pieces of writing. Oh, well, I mean, the it, I mean, entry when... to having a successful comic is mostly visual. Yeah. Uh, or animation or whatever. Or like you know, like the characters are cute or look good enough. Like uh, I imagine, how many people watch Sailor Moon because it had like the most stellar plot? Yeah. No, people, people, people uh, watched it because uh, because they liked one of the uh, five sailor waifus. Wow, well, I'm, I'm were... sure as far as manga goes, it was probably like better drawn than many. I mean, I mean, maybe people liked it because they just like the positivity of the message. Keep in mind that the fuck is that? Si Who the fuck? I wager the manga, the Sailor Moon manga, was probably probably structurally pretty different from the anime, because that reeked of those like once a week animes that uh, was very episodic, very Power Ranger shit, Monster of the Week stuff. I'm, don't make him go. Uh! <laughs> uh... They're, they don't sound menacing, they sound like they're in pain. It's not like fucking Alucard needs to, like, take him out. Uh, I guess I'm jumping over there. That looks stable enough. Onto the meat pile. This is just fucking Cruelty Squad, like... Yeah, okay, that's... Alright, but, but now I can't go up here. I can't because it's too slick. So what the fuck? Okay. This way. You uh, think Doom Guy would just like reach down and grab a bite? Just eat it? Yeah. I don't know. Would he? I. I think he just he just grabbed the EPFG and just shoot. Kill. Okay. Switch up there. I'll probably open something. I'm trying to think of I'll characters who would just see like a giant wall of flesh and whose first thought would be, what does it taste like? Luffy. Yeah. Luffy. Wait, Yajirobe. Oh. Yes, him too. Uh, I don't know. Goku, no. Because Goku likes his meat, like... Cooked. Yeah. So let better start climbing. Uh, <laughs> it really, this one they they did it like really too close to be like uh oh. Just gonna face tank it. I got the medic kick. The medic. I get both of them. Yes. Okay.
climbing. Just keep climbing. Okay, where's the next gargoyle? Oh, did I freak lock? No, I didn't. Where the fuck did- Yeah, there you are. The fuck back over here. Imagine climbing down this area, like, afterwards. Yeah? That would suck. There's, like, all these, all, all this lava running in, you just got you can't, like, get, you gotta pace, you can't, you can't pace yourself. This almost feels like a Zelda temple. Yeah, right? Like, the parts that aren't, aren't fleshy, as, I guess as well as the parts that are. Switch, what does this do? Oh, that did something. Uh Okay. Jump. Oh no, that wasn't what I wanted to do! Fuck! He had enough energy to stand up first. Yeah. Damn it. That was embarrassing. Let's try that again. I think people are able to just zip up to the top in this level because of how this level is, like, designed. Like, with glitches, or...? Yeah, with glitches. Um, a glitched run of this game can take, like, about an hour. I've seen the This GDP. level is just going up, like, the central pillar area. Yeah, which means I think that that's how you do it. Could be wrong. Save recently? Yeah. I don't, I don't lose that much progress. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't that impressive? Aren't you proud of me? Give me a sec. I'm I'm uh, dehydrating again. Let me get some more water. Hmm. What about Tony Hawk characters people have made? Is Laura a Tony Hawk character? That that wouldn't surprise me. Custom skaters. Someone made the weed cat. The weed cat? Yeah. Oh, the mascot for the weed? Pokemon. Weed? Oh. Oh! Meowscarada. Wow, that's... That's... That is surprising. That is, like, really, like, uh, soon. That's, like, that's a recent-ass character. Yoshimitsu. <laughs> Does he have a sword? Zabuza Momochi. Oh, fuck off! No, not, not why I would... I wish they just have him in. I wish they modified his board to be the sword. Yeah, maybe that's a custom board you can get. Uh, nice, uh, nice uh, meat tunnel. I thought it was gonna be like a boulder, but it was just it was just tons of uh, of meat creatures. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu. Yeah. Oh, is she tall? Is she like really tall, taller than like anybody else in the game? Uh, I can't tell. Walter White and Neko Arc. Neko arc? Yeah. Isn't that... Okay, what is this? Oh, well, this, uh, this isn't, like, intimidating at all. Uh, you want to... I'm gonna post the, uh, Walter White picture in the chat because... Okay, good! Silly. 
The lava was moving towards me. I don't know if you caught that. Okay, let me see the Walter White pick. I want to see this. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Jesse! Jesse! We gotta shred, Jesse! <laughs> Yo, Mr. White, I, I just learned how to dragon flip. <laughs> Shinji Akari. Oh yeah, okay. Courage. Cur I can see courage uh, learning how to how to uh, skateboard. He's wacky like that. All right, where is the gargoyle? All right, no. Is there no uh, is there no flying baddie this time? Okay, that's nice. Lane. Wait. The, 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 the lane who, who has uh, some serial experiments? Yep. Very that's same. That's the one. Oh, well, that's... Morbius. <laughs> Man, it makes me, makes me want to, like, want to just see a stream where we just do all these, like, silly characters. Dude, we should, we should upload SK-8 with no, uh... Well, one of them. I really, I'm really glad these Uzis are here. They just shred through fucking enemies like really quickly. And I'm just, I'm just getting like tons of ammo for them too. <gasps> Arrow trap! Yay! We remember those? Remember when they existed? Yep, I sure do. That's gold. Okay, good thing I saved. I don't know why I didn't notice that that was... Okay. Why I didn't, rather. R2-D2. Wait, that R2-D2? The, the okay. TARDIS? The TARDIS can shred? Like, actually, the TARDIS. It's just a phone booth <sighs> on a skateboard. I don't know why I saved. I think we're at the end of the level. We're in the throne room. Uh, are you king now, queen? I turn into gold. Or I was gonna be set ablaze. Okay, so what? Oh. Okay. Well, one of these has uh, can be pushed. But this one. Is it this one? Oh, there's 3D models of like Brock Samson because of the poker game. I oh, wish yeah. someone put him in there in here. Oh, that'd be great. All right, we found a secret passage. Brock Samson shredding. Ah, Aku. Aku? I, Baku, the evil shape shifting master of darkness, has unleashed unspeakable grinds. Unspeakable gaps. Okay. Uh, I want you to, I want you to look at this. Uh, so Okay, I'm looking. One of these switches will probably kill us, and the other will open the door. Is it gonna be the left one? Or the right one. Right. Is the right one gonna be the right one? Let us find out. Uh. Well, I'm not dead, so we'll see what happens. I just died. Alright, well, what does the left one do? Let us find out. Okay. Um. All right. I, okay. The right one is indeed the right one, I guess. Okay. I think I, I think I know what to do now. Is Spyro the dragon like a character? Uh, I don't see him yet. I'm just going through all the characters. Damn. All right. 
Ow. Ow. It's weird how you think that that would be like a more like uh brutal What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> did it did it get stuck? It didn't open all the way. No, no I got I got I got Looney Tunes. I stood on in the middle of the air for like Alright, I don't want to do that again because I, I have a feeling that I Here? Nope. I'm sorry, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, what the ideal position to, like, uh, shit. Are you trying to, like, not bonk your head? I'm trying to, uh, make it so that I can, like, uh, hit that ledge. That ledge in front of me. That's a block wide. Um, but the problem is that if I... Well, let's just do it here. This is very challenging. I have... I think about how to do this, but it's like really complicated. All right, I'm gonna save again. Let's see if I'm another. You can't like turn around in time to jump back. No. No. I, if I had the ability to uh, to do a rolling jump, I it wouldn't be a problem. But the but I but I don't. I don't. I, yeah, I won't have time. Or maybe I will. Yeah, let's try that. No. This is the hardest puzzle yet. Oh! Lava didn't bo burn me this time. Someone put Kilua in the game. <laughs> yes! That's great. Infinite respect. Yes! Made it! Alright. Eh. Almost done. I can feel it. Alright. What trap is... What traps lay beyond? What evil schemes... Which yeah, that did something. Man, I don't like it when the game just decides not to like. <sighs> I gotta do the other one too. It sucks. Don't wanna. That looks harder. Oh no, I don't have to. The door's open. More combat! Here we go! Let's fight! Oh no! <laughs> the shotgun took him out in like three hits and, and then the Uzis... Oh, maybe, maybe this guy's a fresh one. The other guy was like weakened. Yeah. Whatever. Oh! Okay! Let's do this! Oh my god. Damn it! They got me! Okay, I finally found her. Lara Croft exists, but it's the more recent version. It uh, looks like a remake Croft. Oh. Alright, five shotgun sh uh, sh uh, shells. He's also got, like, weird giant hands. Are you uh, shortlisting these for download later, you think? Or are you not? Uh, if 
I don't know. I, I would want to like go through all of them and make and make sure I got all the good ones before we did a stream or anything. I get you. All right, let's see if we don't. I... Oh, I can just I can just avoid fighting them. That's an option. Is this the first music track we've gotten this stream? Uh, no, we've got plenty. Wait, no, not you! Alright. You ready for- you ready for a really mind-busy puzzle? Hey, look, it's us. That's unsettling. Oh, <laughs> uh, we, we can just kill her, right? No, we can't because uh, because she'll shoot us. We have so she has to die in order for us to continue. But uh, so we have to find like a lava pit or something. Correcto mundo. This is just this is how the uh, this is how the Anubis enemies worked in Zelda. Oh, uh, what game? The uh, was it Ocarina of Time that Anubis? Yeah. Oh. You just kind of never had to do that because you. Usually got Din's fire before that point. Okay. So I need to I need to actually uh ogle okay. Damn, that is one fine Atlantean. You know what's Does funny? this character have a name, this Atlantean Laura Croft? Uh she does in the remake. <laughs> Uh, she actually becomes like a like a character in uh, in another Tomb Raider game. <laughs> Tomb Raider Underworld is all about uh, this that Laura. Uh, unfortunately, here she is just the uh, the means to an end for a puzzle. Okay, the, the her Wikipedia page, her Tomb Raider wiki page, is the doppelganger, also known as Bacon Laura by yep. fans. Yep, that's that that yeah. Yeah, I, I can't believe I forgot about that. Bacon Laura. <laughs> puzzle. This puzzle. It's just like, whoa. Alright, which means we are close to being done with the... With this... Yep. We got her! You got her in the lava? Yep, she's in the lava. Another enemy? Here, I heard flapping. Oh no, that's where I came out. Oh, the enemy's over in that other room triggered, and I'm down here, so so they're just gonna be confused as to where where I am. I keep forgetting sometimes the, a winning move in this game is not to like not to like engage the enemy. I'm the the wall of flesh. <laughs> hall of saws. This you know what this game doesn't have? This game didn't have like a like a weird ass fucking hall of saws, so <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so this game is superior which means that this game is superior to Sly Cooper. I'm just joking, I'm not I don't actually believe that, but I still I'm still I the, the weird ass hall of saws room will forever be in my heart. Alright. Oh no! Fuck off! The stock footage of sound of like horse sound effects. Oh! There's a second one! Oh, there's just a guy. Alright. Why do they explode? Their blood is gasoline. <laughs> their their blood is, is sulfur bicarbonate. It's close to the end. That'd be an interesting world quirk where uh, dismemberment just causes explosions. 
And everyone just kind of, it's just understood. It's just science in that world. Dude, there's like a fucking, then that means that there would be a fucking, uh, like, thing where it's like, a guy's got his arm and he just chops it off in order to, like, take out the other guy. Are you okay? I'll be fine. You just wait till it grows back. <laughs> So close to being done. We're almost there. So you think almost the very final, there. You think the very final level is the least intensive of these three? I think it's the hardest. Oh, it's the hardest? I believe so. Alright. But we're but we're here, we can grab it and we can go home. Get like zapped or something. You can't do this. We condemn you, Nakla of Atlantis, for your crimes, for the flagrant misuse of your powers, okay, this is where and it's for going. robbing us of our. You can't, I. Breaking the three bond of consent that our people are ruled and secured under, and invading Teopan and myself with our army. Our warriors empty from our pyramid so that you can use the pyramid, its powers of creation, for your own mindless destruction. Mindless? Look at you! Neither of you have one squirt of inventive juice in your heads. Wasters. Let's just. She's always sounded like a Do Midwestern you mom. You use the sacramental place as a source of individual pleasure. As some freak factory. They're survivalists, a new generation. A slaughter heap now. And you, we're gonna lock you in limbo. Make your veins, heart, feet, and that diseased brain stick solid with frozen blood. Greet your eternal unrest, Natla! You won't rest either, or your damned continent. Evolution's in a rut, natural selection at an all-time low. Shipping out fresh meat will incite territorial rages again. Will strengthen and advance us. Even create new breeds. Kind of evolution on steroids, then. A kick in the pants. Those runts Qualapec and Tihokan had no idea. The cataclysm of Atlantis struck a race of languoring wimps. Plummeted them to the very basics of survival again. It shouldn't happen like that. Or like this. Hatching commences in 15 seconds. Too late for abortions now. Not without the heart of the operation. No! <laughs> Too late for abortions now. Okay, bye. <laughs> Five, four, well, that was kind of an anticlimax to that character. Oh, you think she's dead? Yeah, she okay. survives this? It may, be, it may be bold of me to assume that. <laughs> she also conveniently looks perfectly human compared to every other Atlantean. Like, that really worked out in her favor. Yeah, she always kind of sounded Midwestern, huh? Alright. Oh, damn it. Too Wait. late for abortions now! <laughs> By the way, uh, you want to see a death? Is, is this the PS1 abomination? Yeah, this is, uh, this is the PS1 abomination. Come on! Oh, come on! Do your thing! Do the- there we go! That's the most brutal death in the game, I think. Yeah. Wait, wait, no, is it still the falling and stuff for you, you think? No, that, that was probably it. Yeah. Right. I feel like this game was maybe a little bit too ambitious for its time. Yeah, I mean... I mean, the, ga the gameplay's fine. The story they're trying to sell and the cutscenes... 
really kind of needed a few more years to make. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that didn't work out. Ugh. I've... Alright, I'm gonna have to do it the boring way. Do you think this is intended? Um... That's how, uh, other people have done it. I'm not giving you shit for it, I'm just wondering if the devs anticipated that that would be a method. I don't know. Damn it! Laura! I honestly don't know if the Uzis are, like, the best way to uh, do this. Fight. have split screen. I don't remember. Uh, what? Does what? Tony Hawk's Underground. I think it does. I have to, I'll have to double check. Maybe we can do like a parsec next time. Because last time, was the one time we streamed it, we went online, and it was, it was some people, but not that many. Yeah. And the people who were there, they were kind of uh, unwelcoming. Come on. Go down! Sad short life this creature is leading. This guy, you know what? Killing it is probably a kindness. Got him! All right, you want to see the the most jank death animation ever? It was trying to resist it. It really didn't want to explode. Yeah, he didn't he didn't want to die. Alas, he had to. I'm sorry. RIP. Grab a grab a piece of meat wall for the road. <laughs> Dissect it. You know, anyway, I'll 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 s i was gonna say something, but uh, I'll show you in a sec. Oh, there's, Those there's are some uh, mismatched textures, you see that? Oh, oh hold they on. don't really line up on that wall. Yeah, wait, here, this wall, or...? Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, this game is this game's pretty ambitious for its time. You said it was too ambitious. I can see why you said I, I, Mainly the, the, that last cutscene, I think. Or they just shove, like, a lot of the plot in. No, it's way better, uh, it's way better explained in, uh, in Anniversary. Well, it's not just the writing, but also the, the animation. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I think the in-game animation gets better in the later games. All right. So, uh, I think now we have to double back. Am I wrong? There's a movable block there. Is it? I guess you're right. All right. I feel in order for a CG like this early to hold up, it had have to be something like very, very simple. There'd have to be cartoon characters. Yeah. Like even simpler than Reboot, because I'm sorry, I don't think Reboot held up visually. Fuck no. It was interesting though. Yeah. And you know what? I, I will I will say I'll give Reboot some slack in that in that uh, it was supposed to be a computer, so it looking like that totally matched the aesthetics of like that kind of like uh, like style. But if you but if it's supposed to look like like real life, then no, it's not supposed to. Then no, What's it doesn't. The main dude's I mean, name Bob. Bob. Bob did not have. It's just. Not that Bob. Yeah, I know. Okay. I think I got one shot at this. So. Is this a secret up here? 
Yeah, that's fine. I'm good. Walk it off, Laura. I'm good. I, I just beat, I just beat, like, an abomination. <laughs> I want to see those doors try to crush Yujiro Hanma and break. <laughs> Jiro Hanma, we need you to get the, the uh, sky on. Why do you want me to do it? You think I I care about some trinket? I have new, uh, new Baki arc's been animated. Yeah, we're we gotta meet Pickle the Caveman. Looks so, dude looks way too handsome. He looks like a caveman. Weren't people like really short back then? Like, humans have gotten taller over time. Oh. Yeah, you're probably right. We just beat the- we just beat like a giant boss and we gotta do block puzzles. This is beneath me! <laughs> yeah, well, at least we now have all the time in the world to do this now that Natla's definitely dead. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you're like, well, oh, that's how she dies. That's disappointing. I'm like, uh, you think she's dead. <laughs> uh, in my defense, the game has tried to portray itself as fairly realistic up until this last chapter. <laughs> oh, did you... <laughs> I think this is... What? Okay, what am I missing? More. Well, maybe fuck? keep it out there. Maybe you need to go back around and push it to the side from there. No, because that other block is, like, blocking the way. What does this game want me to do? Okay, yeah, so that block's there. Okay, maybe I do need to do something else with that block. But I can't pull it out. I won't have enough room. Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, that's the same block. I thought they were two separate blocks. I get it now. So what does this help you with? Yeah, I was about to say, well, now what? You could pull the block over that way again. So that's a circle. You have the means to get the block to the other side of this tunnel. But what yeah, would that do? That wouldn't accomplish anything. Wait, or would it? No, because there's there's no... Uh... Alright, so I guess I gotta pull it and see what happens. You're coming with me. Yeah, this, this, this was what I was saying. Yeah. See what happens. Oh, something got spawned. You hear that shit? Oh no, that's just the... I don't know what ancient magics are powering these mechanisms. Atlantean technology, I guess. Maybe it's tied to the pulsations of the meat wall. Yeah. I honestly don't know if I'm doing, like, anything... Infinite anymore. meat energy. <laughs> That do anything? Well, it's lined up with that, so it. <gasps> looks Wait, that's like a switch. That's a okay. fucking switch. Okay, I missed. How did I miss that? <laughs> that was a very conspicuous place to put the block, so I figured I'd have to do something. Yeah. All right. Puzzle's done. Are we done? No. <laughs> You're, you're, you think we're done yet? No. We beat, we beat the boss. By the way, this level's called the Great Pyramid. I don't know if that, that, that was obvious. Oh, this is level 15. Yeah, this is level 15 now. Okay, I, I thought we were trying to find the exit of level 14. No. That level 15 began with a, with a boss battle. And it's going to end the same way. Damn it! Okay. Slightly pissed off Natla. <laughs> Mm. Is Laura Croft in Mugen? She probably is. Everybody's in fucking Mugen. We got pro wrestlers in Mugen. Laura Croft Mugen. 
Lara Ooh. Croft, King of Fighters. Okay, so so they use the King of as like, so they re as a King of Fighters. Was she like a guest character in King of Fighters? I don't think so. Maybe. <sighs> wow, she looks good. She she oh, must yeah? have been a guest character. Or maybe they just reskinned her and made her play like a King of Fighters character. Like in that, it's the the sprite work is way too professional to have been made by just some some person. Uh, show me. I want I want to see it for myself. And um, by the way, yeah, that that does look like big hands. The Tony Hawk, Laura. Oh yeah, that, that's a great looking sprite. I I got I yeah that that looks really awesome. Not quick enough. All right, I have to. King of Fighters, Laura Croft. Mugen. I oh, did it. There's a reskin of Blue Mary in Lara Croft's outfit. That's not it, though. No, that's not it. I like how, how she has she's wearing the glasses you hate so much. Okay, uh. I don't hate them. Well, they're not the best. Okay. Oh, fuck. This seems like it's gonna be way harder. Uh. <gasps> Damn. Okay. Okay, made it that time. Okay, there's also another Lara Croft in Mugen that looks much more uh, like amateur styled spriting. Yeah, I figured. I figured there would be, like. Oh man, I wonder if Salty Bets is still going. It doesn't look terrible, just not as good as the other one we found. That wow, that was a that was a sketchy fucking drop. I'm glad I'm glad I survived that. Post it for later. Okay. All right. We're back in this chamber. So get. Okay, what is, so what do you think we need to do here? Uh, let, let me look at the room. No, I'm not. I know exactly what to do. I just want. I just want you to guess. Uh. Jump in. Can I even do that? No. Well, let's try here. No, it's. Do we shoot it? All right. Welcome to the the dungeon escape. Okay. We uh we Metroid now. There's no time limit. It's all flags. So. Oh my god. This is this is hardcore. These guys are these guys are utterly like they're strong as shit. So just all Atlanteans are these weird flesh creatures I think they're I guess. just I think they're just servants of Atlanteans they built their own like uh I guess we don't really get a good idea of what other Atlanteans look like because like they're a dead well they're a dead race well no there was uh there was Natla and there was that one dude kind of looked like a lizard man everyone else had like the the like armor on yeah so that first Laura Croft sp uh, sprite, it does appear to be fan made, and it's uh, someone's doing like a King of Fighters style crossover pack for movement or something. Oh yeah, cool. King of Fighters, I actually really enjoy how it how it plays. I don't, I, I don't know. It's got a certain kind of style. They've also made Goku, Solid Snake, Kratos, Alex Kid. Alex Kid. All right. I'll post the. I'll post their full set of sprites from a, a forum thread I found. I 
don't like this these fucking fucking explosions. It's Drop the fucking base. It's just bait. I'm a... Well, fuck. Oh shit, how far did I go back? Okay, not that far. I might have to turn the sound off. This is this is intolerable. <laughs> And then Laura Croft went deaf. What? Well, she's just she's just tanking these. Yeah, I mean you got. I guess to. you can technically get through this damage list, but boy, it's tight. Yeah. Imagine you doing. To, you avoided two out of four. Imagine doing this game, Iron Man. I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching Oblivion for the first time. I'm watching Joel's playthrough. Oh yeah. Boy, characters in that game sure like to walk around full of arrows. <laughs> I I actually really enjoy. Like I've actually turned the corner on Oblivion. That game is hilarious for the me potential. There was a boulder. Okay. Jump too soon. Yeah, this this section, this the Great Pyramid is the hardest, uh, like one of them all. I'm dead. Long. Yeah, Great Pyramid is incredibly fucking hard. This doesn't look fun to speedrun. <laughs> I'm sure speedrunners have got it down pat though. Wait, what? Oh. So the boulder always goes from the, from that side. I guess I, I guess I avoided it by uh, by sheer coincidence. Oh well. I would be able to hear the boulder coming if you know there wasn't a whole bunch of fucking like explosions. You know, even it's the night of the Fourth of July, and you have the most redneck neighbors. <laughs> they have bought every illegal firework. All ten them. times the legal limit. They are aimed at your bedroom window. <laughs> they're bla and they're blasting trap music. Okay, I'm, I'm at the theory sound. I gotta, I gotta just not try to do the wrong jump. I just gotta commit to it, to the jump. <laughs> Atl Welcome to Atlantean 4th of July. Uh, well, I don't see any boulders. So remember what I said, imagine descending this again? Yeah. I wasn't being a meme lord. I was- oh, well, I was trying to- Ah, fuck! Die already, Laura! Come on. Alright. What a dumb motivation. Social dark Or when it's Napla. Like, I just wanna- I just want creatures to- Dude, I just- I just want, like, you know, more, like, uh, more creatures. I want to be like a monster factory, bro. I, he's like, she's like, a, like, she's like Kurosushi. I guess. She's gonna go to the, she kind of just wanted to research whatever the end was. You know what? Uh, she's going to uh, go to the Soul Society and she's going to become Ron Tao. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna kickstart the bounce crisis by accident okay oh god <laughs> you see you see what I gotta deal with this is like I gotta run and then the boulder's gonna come down and I gotta, gotta go past the fucking trap right, here we go
This is why I kept a lot of the health kits. It's just specifically for this level. By the end, we're gonna have zero. Ah, okay. Thank you, game. Just bring you through the wall. I got, I got noped out of reality. Yeah, go for the health pack. That's a good idea. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Wow. That was, that, I actually am impressed I, I made that jump. 263 saves. I am, I am truly just like, just like a delinquent save scummer. I guess what's gonna happen? The lava's gonna come in. Well, it was nice of it for, to, to wait for you. Yeah. This, this game is just, is just running on, on, like, the flag system. It's a system of, like, like triggers and flags. One day, one day I should uh, restream Zelda 2 and not constantly use a rewind like a bitch. I wonder if Darian's ever gonna play, uh, like, Dracula X without using the rewind. Oh, did he? Does he use a rewind for that? He did, but that's fine. The game's like, the game's hard as hell. Oh, what? Okay. I was actually really worried about that room. I thought it was gonna be more difficult than it ended up being. I don't think this is too long. I just think it's like it can be really tough. Hey, Uzi ammo. I've got... Imagine this was like that final Mario challenge, and you had to do it all in one run. Oh man, doing uh, I, I imagine doing this game Iron Man would take years. Not even the whole game, just this level. I I you gotta yeah. You just... could, I, I bet you could do it, but it would be the whole stream. We'd be here for like three or four hours. That actually sounds like a good stream idea. Just, just like Tomb Raider, except I can only say I can only save at the beginning of each level. I gotta finish the game. I think I think that would be that would be a fun stream idea for me for me to do alone. I don't expect you to join up for that. Yeah. You could practice. Oh. Remember this room. Uh, a style room. Is it gonna disappear when I jump? No. No, oh, I just, just these ones just don't turn off. No, you gotta. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Uh. Oh. Okay. Now you're. That was an easier room. A little easier. You don't even have to time the fire, really. No. Uh... And boulder. <gasps> it's, what is this fucking Minecraft? <laughs> you gotta land in the one-by-one one water tile? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm gonna do it swag style. Are you ready? Yeah, 360. <laughs> yes. Ah. All right. I don't Underwater know meat tunnel. I don't even know why I'm picking up uh, Uzi ammo. I don't. I don't think I need it anymore. Is there anything? Oh shit! To fight? I guess. Yeah, you said there was this one other final boss. Yeah. Where is she? There you are. Hey now. <laughs> She's got wings now. than that other boss just because well you have space to move in this one yeah you can 
explode. Can I explode I mean, now? She's not dead yet. Nah, she's dead. This is the head of. What? This, this is the head of some, like, electronics company. This is basically fucking Elon Musk. <laughs> We're fighting evil Elon Musk. Turns out, he was like a lizard person the whole time. He was an Atlantean. Are you dead this time? Right, take a, uh, take a street sign. Chop her head off, just to be sure. It. There's nothing else to expend ammo on anyway. Yeah. I th I don't think there's any more like uh, enemies. All right, final climbing while the fucking base is going off. <laughs> <laughs> Your music's too loud. Turn it down. Yo, why did we choose to live dur during, like, a- in, like, a fucking trench in World War One? All these explosions don't seem to be affecting the, uh, structural integrity, thankfully. Yeah. Small- small miracles, am I right? Damn it! I'm gonna save- I'm gonna- it's gonna be the final save, probably. I think we're- we're done with this, uh... I think we're done with uh, all the major challenges. Natla. Well, you see, I, I can't believe she always sounded like- I forgot that that was just how she sounded. It was just Midwestern. Or Texan? Is she more Texan or Midwestern? I would lean more Texan. Like, she, she just always sounded Texan. Like, the Texans were descended from Atlanteans, I guess, in, in, uh, in this universe. And her having wings, that wasn't just like, she wasn't, it wasn't because she was Atlantean. That was just her inability. Are we ever going to, uh, do you, do you think we're gonna stumble upon the Jackie Chan cult in this game? Thou knoweth too much. Thou knoweth too much! I think I think uh, Scotland is a uh, location in uh, in the three expansion pack. So yes, possibly. I think Stonehenge is own, actually a level. Do you own the unfinished business? I yeah, oh I but for this game yeah I own unfinished business. Yeah I checked to make sure it was working and, it, and it's basically the got the same out of the box stuff for this game as fuck. You saved on the ground, didn't you? I did. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Okay. This screen shaking is really distracting. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a challenge. It's a good thing it doesn't Are you serious? Imagine you're trying to do this platforming, but also stumbling around like touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Yeah, imagine. Uh, can you imagine like some kind of like ice physics for this game? There aren't no, I, I don't I don't want to. It's <laughs> You have to play in your jumps so that you, for for when you slide. That's the that's the thing this game has it, it, like over other platformers. No like there's ice stages, but there's no ice stages. Did Croc have any ice physics? I don't remember any. I'm hoping it doesn't. on the list. We could start it. I mean... Oh yeah, that's that's two-player. That'd be, that'd be an interesting Omni-play! <laughs> Wish more games had Omni-play features. 
Maybe there's a reason they don't. Cause it's too, cause, cause people aren't aren't willing to take the risk. Almost done. We're almost out of here. By the way, you know how she just she just just wasted the uh, the sky on, right? Yeah. Well, uh, in three, there's a hidden room with all her, all the treasures she gets over the past uh, like games, and the fucking Skyon is uh is is like uh, is like there, so, so she canonically recovers it at some point. Yeah. All right. How much you want to bet? There's like one final like like uh, enemy. I don't think there is. I think we're done. Just one beast Atlantean jumps you in the final room. Yeah. I'm guessing. Those stupid centaurs. I think we're done, though. Yeah, I think. Yeah. That's it! Clear! The Great Pyramid! Three hour stream. Two, 21 minutes. Um, not counting saves. Yeah. And you thought that would be the longest of the three. I thought that. I, I don't remember. It felt longer. Atlantis was the longest. Oh, well, it was tied for oh, that lot. Oh, I gotta run! Oh, shit! At least she got a yacht. Yeah. Oh, she's rich as fuck! She doesn't need another yacht! Yeah, true. That sure was some sport. The island explodes! <laughs> Why does everything Atlantean explode? <laughs> Maybe that's Laura's net ability. She makes things explode. No. The end! <laughs> yeah, she escapes. She stopped Atla. She, like, raided some tombs. Programming. <laughs> there's yeah. the DreamWorks face. Yeah. Jason. Alright, there's... What, did they don't even have credits music? I think they did in the other version, but I just... She's firing in the in the like underwater. This is all her. I get. I, I just want to headcanon it. This is all like other adventures she's doing. Oh, small team. Was that it? Or did you that accidentally? Was... No, I did. Oh, my hand just weren't on the keyboard. There was just three. It's like credits. nine people. Nine people team. That's. Can you? Can... That's impressive considering like, like that what is they extremely all really small are. even for a game like this. Yeah. Yeah. Rayman, Crash Bandicoot, those both had way bigger teams. Yeah, I mean, maybe there's this. more that weren't in there, but I but I think that that's how many people there were. Yeah. So that's uh, that's Tomb Raider. Um, I might do unfinished business on my own. I don't know if you'd be willing you'd be willing to do that. Or I, I think you you probably would want to break for Tomb Raider if you want want to stick around want to do two with me. I'll I'll think about it. Right. Unfinished unfinished business would be a single stream. Yeah, you checked it. It is about uh, a four-hour game or a three-hour game. Well, it estimated four hours for that. It also estimated like fifteen hours for this, and we, I think four, we eight, took like eleven nine, or twelve. 10, 11. Yeah, we took eleven. Yeah, for like the game. So that we're we're well under time for this one. Yeah. Uh, the the problem is, is that I knew, like going into well, then again for the stuff I didn't know, you were there to kind of just like point me in the right direction. I'm like, oh yeah, this. I'd be going completely blind for, uh, for, uh, the other one, so, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, thank you for, uh, for being here with me with this. Um, next I've, game... I've now seen a Tomb Raider game. Yeah, and this is, a the next time, next, uh, stream I'll do will be Unfinished Business with or without you. Uh, let me know when. Um, and next, our next game we'll do together, confirmed, would be what? Uh... I, we're still deciding is between yeah. like Proc 2, Sly 3, or Ratchet 4, I think, were the ones we were talking about. Yeah. Well, well, One of those will be starting soon. Also, Breath of the Wild eventually. Breath of the Wild coming eventually. 
All right. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Uh, catch our streams on YouTube. Uh, catch us on Discord if you want to join up. Uh, and uh, catch us live on YouTube and or Twitch. Uh, we'll see you guys now. next time. See you next time.